Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hay Springs Hawks Basketball 2015. We are here in Dalton, Nebraska this afternoon as the Hay Springs Hawks get ready to take on the Layton Lady Warriors in basketball action. The Hawks coming off of a big win yesterday afternoon as they took down the Banner County Wildcats via final score of 49 to 27. With that win, the Hawks improved their record to two and four on the season and they're ready to take another shot at improving that again this afternoon against the Leighton Warriors. Thanks again for joining us on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Hawk Basketball 2015. We'll step aside and be back with some pregame activities in just a little bit. The opening tip off for this girls varsity game should be roughly 2.30, maybe a couple of minutes after that. So you've got about 17 minutes to get things in order and get ready for some Great Saturday afternoon basketball action here from Dalton, Nebraska. It's the Hay Springs Hawks and the Leighton Warriors, and it is next here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net. Just about 15 minutes to the opening tip of girls varsity basketball action here this afternoon between Hay Springs and Layton. Make sure to say thank you to sponsors of today's basketball action. Those sponsors are Pioneer Manor. They are a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs, Nebraska. We provide rehabilitational services and around the clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish most, a nurturing spirit and a commitment to quality. And the Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank, proudly supporting the Hawks. They're FDIC insured and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. 14.25 on the pregame clock as we get ready for varsity girls action between Hay Springs and Layton. Glad to have you along with us today. We'll step aside and be back with some starting lineups. Get ready for the opening tip here on Saturday afternoon basketball between Hay Springs and Layton. Hi, I'm Clint Anderson, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Wherever we're broadcasting from, you can bet that I got there in a Ford vehicle from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. I've been a Sides and Milburn customer for over 20 years, and I can't imagine going anywhere else to buy or trade vehicles. 
I may be able to find a cheaper vehicle somewhere else, but the hometown service I get at Sides and Melbourne Ford is worth way more than a trip to Rapid City or Denver. I hope you enjoy today's game, and when you're ready to trade vehicles, stop in and see the good folks at Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. Tim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injuries, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. There's a new innovation in round baling, a round baler that helps you get more out of every hay season. Introducing the new Roll Belt 560 from New Holland. It gives you 20% more capacity, and creates uniform 5 foot by 6 foot bales with higher density to stand up to weather, transport and handling. Higher capacity starts with the new Active Sweep pickup. It's a full 82 inches wide from time to time. It makes a clean sweep of your fields by picking up all of your valuable crop. You get the choice of heavy duty 5 bar Active Sweep pickup or the standard duty 4 bar Active Sweep pickup. The legendary 60 inch Super Sweep pickup is also available. Active Sweep pickups are 23% more rugged and feature stronger construction with a 2-inch diameter reel tube and the new double flight feeder auger. The 14-inch diameter feeder tines are arranged in a W pattern to efficiently feed crop into the bale formation area. The feeder auger is wider than the bale chamber, so the sides of the bale are firmly packed with crop. All of these pickup innovations add up to a 20% increase in pickup capacity. Next, crop moves to the bale formation area, New Holland's proven combination of rolls and belts. Roll belt balers are known for their ability to start a core in any crop. The Roll Belt 560 continues that legacy and features increased belt driving force for reduced belt slip for quick core starts, even in below freezing or extremely dirty conditions, the kind seen when baling corn stalks. New Holland now offers three belt choices to match your preference, New Holland's mini rough top belts feature three piles of poly fabric and clipper lacings. New premium laced belts feature 20% more tensile strength for extended life. For the ultimate in durability and low maintenance, choose new premium endless belts. Endless belts are backed by a three year, 15,000 bale New Holland warranty. No matter which belts you choose, the patented New Holland roll belt system packs more crop into each and every bale. When you make higher density bales, you make fewer bales and reduce your wrapping and retrieval costs as well as storage losses. Higher density bales also hold their shape and are easier to handle, transport and stack. You can easily adjust bale density using the sealed hydraulic density control system and monitor pressure from the tractor with this gauge. To pack even more crop into every bale, equip your Roll Belt 560 with New Holland's exclusive bale slice system. It creates bales that are up to 14% more dense. Sliced bales are easier to feed to livestock, and the crop is easier for cattle to eat and digest. New Holland has simplified both the net wrapping and twine tying systems. The front load net system is easy to view during baling. Netting follows a shorter, more efficient travel path, making it the industry's most reliable system. The front load twine system features dual twine tubes that are driven smoothly by a motor for a consistent twine wrap pattern across the face of the bale. You control and monitor the bale making process using your choice of display. The Bale Command 2 is used on twine only models and the Deluxe Bale Command 2 Plus is available for net twine or net only models. Or go ISOBUS with the IntelliView 4 or IntelliView 3 color touchscreen monitor for extra easy screen navigation. The world's best balers are now even better. 
With the benefit of New Holland engineering innovations and improvements, the new Roll Belt 560 handles your crop with more speed and efficiency than ever before. From the moment crop enters the pickup to the moment a perfectly shaped bale rapidly exits the tailgate. Your infield productivity increases and so does your overall baling capacity. Get the most out of every hay season. Make the smart move to the Roll Belt 560 Round Baler from New Holland. See your New Holland dealer for a demonstration. Well, welcome back to the pregame preparations here for the Hay Springs Hawks as they get ready to take on the Leighton Warriors here this afternoon. Four minutes and 45 seconds to the opening tip of today's game. Let's take a quick look at starting lineups for these two ball clubs. First for the Leighton Warriors, they come into today's game with a record this season of three wins and five losses. Starters this afternoon for the Lady Warriors will be number 20, Natalie Cruz. She is a junior, number 21. Abby Draper, she's a sophomore. Number 22, Deidre Waite, she's a junior. Number 24, Caitlin Berner, is a senior. And number 40, Danny McKay, also is a senior. The Hay Springs Hawks out of the locker room and back on the floor, ready to take the final stages of their warm-ups. Four minutes left to go before the opening tip here this afternoon. Let's take a look at the Hay Springs Hawks starters today. Same as yesterday, number 12, Jen Sherbarth. She is a 5'7-inch senior. 
Number 14, Kate Roberts, a 5'11 senior. Number 20, Emma Roberts, the 5'9 freshman. Number 30, Sydney Jancic, a 5'7 senior. Number 32 is Whitney Hiding, and she is a 5'6 inch senior. Yesterday, it was the Roberts show as Kate Roberts scored 15 to lead the way for the Hawks, and Emma Roberts scored 14. Tana Badge came in and pitched in 10 off the bench as the Hawks came out on top yesterday for the second time this season by a big final score of 49 to 27. It was close in the early going, just a 6 to 4 ball game at the end of the first quarter yesterday, but the Hawks blew it open in the second as they outscored the Wildcats of Banner County 18 to 5 in the second quarter and cruised to the big 49-27 lead for their second win of the season. They're hoping to put another one on the board here this afternoon and have a two-game win streak. That's what they're hoping for, but they'll have their work cut out for them here this afternoon as they take on the Leighton Warriors. And we are now under three minutes to the opening tip, so very glad to have you along with us. We'll step aside one last time and be back for the National Anthem and get ready to get this one underway. Well, if you are not a subscriber to the Sheridan County Journal Star, you certainly should be. You can check it all out at SheridanCountyJournalStar.net slash subscriptions and check out the online edition, which is available before anybody else gets the paper copy of the newspaper. Those are available Tuesday afternoons and the online edition available in full and glorious color. So check it out. That's SheridanCountyJournalStar.net slash subscriptions. Just about ready to get this one underway. Clock winding down. And we'll be ready for the National Anthem. And one quick note, if the National Anthem is a pre-recorded version, we will have to mute that as we have to avoid copyrighted music. And that includes the National Anthem. And that is certainly our, uh, we apologize for that. We don't want pop-up banner ads showing up on top of the broadcast here.
we'll turn it over to the public address announcer for the introduction of the starting lineup. the starting lineups as we are ready for basketball action here this afternoon. It's the three and five Leighton Warriors and the two and four Hay Springs Hawks. Eight minutes on the clock and we are ready to go. Scoreboard updated and we are Ready for basketball action. Kate Roberts ready to tip it up against Deidre Waite. Waite wins the tip, and the Warriors take control to get things started here. They go inside, shot up, and just off the mark. Offensive rebound, that one comes out, tipped around, and now the Warriors will set it back up. This is Danny McKay triggering the offense here. She gets it on the wing for Draper. Abby Draper tries to go inside, tipped away by Emma Roberts. They try to go down low. Tipped away, but again, the Warriors come away with it. And there is McKay, knocks that one down. And the Warriors quickly out to a 2-0 lead. They try to apply some full court pressure. Whitney Hiding dribbles through the pressure, gets it ahead to Kate Roberts. Her shot off the side of the backboard. Second try is blocked. And the Warriors come away with it. And McKay brings it up the floor. 2-0 Warriors here in the early going. Draper puts it on the floor, drives baseline, shot up, missed everything. Tipped around, picked up by Jen Sherbarth. Now she's trapped on the baseline, and we're going to have a foul called on Deidre Waite, I believe. It is on Waite, and that is her first. 7.07 left in the first quarter. Hiding inbounds it to Jen Sherbarth. They've got a triple team on her. She gets it out of there and gets it to Hiding. Hiding dribbles through some pressure, gets it ahead to Jancic. Now they'll pull it back and set it up as they get it to Sherbarth. Wasn't quite ready for that pass. She finds Emma Roberts. Emma, spin move, left hand to the board. Good offensive move that time. Just couldn't quite finish. And it rolls off and pulled down by Danny McKay. She gets it on the wing for Burner. She goes down inside. That's Waite. Waite shot up. That's no good. And the rebound by Emma Roberts. The Warriors trying to trap on that defensive rebound and cause some difficulty. But the Hawks able to defeat the pressure. Jancic, now she goes up top. They swing it around. Sherbarth looks inside, puts it on the floor. Now she'll kick it back out for hiding on the wing. She drives to the free throw line and kicks it out for Jancic. Top of the key for hiding, and we got a three-second call on Kate Roberts. Spent a little too much time in the paint, so it's 6.15 to go first quarter. It's 2-0 in favor of the Leighton Warriors. McKay brings it up the floor. And sets the offense for the Warriors. She goes left side for Burner. Shot up. That's no good. And pulled down by Hiding. And back the other way come the Hawks. Hiding to Sherbarth. Back up top to Hiding. Hiding dribbles all the way down. Working against the man-to-man -man defense. Now they kick it outside for Jancic. Up top for Sherbarth. Sherbarth drives in. Kicks it out for Hiding. One dribble, works it inside for Kate Roberts, and we're going to get another foul. That's two quick fouls on Deidre Waite. Make sure that's who they call it on, and they do. That is two fouls on her. And so Shayla Jenkins looks like she's ready to come into the game and take the place of Waite. Shayla Jenkins, the senior. We don't have si uh, heights for these uh, Leighton Warriors. 5.42 to go, and 2-0, to zero, and now we've got a... 
Another quick foul on the Warriors. This time it's on Danny McKay. And so three team fouls now for Layton. They get it inside to Hiding, kick it out for Jancic, swing it around. Now they go down low for Hiding. Drives it baseline. Now she's trapped under the basket. She finds Kate Roberts. She kicks it out. They'll swing it around. Sherbarth, top of the key, on the wing for Hiding. Puts it on the floor, drives baseline. Leaves it for Roberts. Shot up and off the front of the rim. No good, but there is younger sister Emma. She can't get the follow to go. And we're going to have... I think that was maybe just alternating possession that time. They call a held ball, and the Hawks get it back. On the inbounds pass, Hiding can't convert. That one's going to stay with the Hawks again. So the Hawks getting some chances. They just haven't been able to get anything to fall into the hoop here. 5-16 to go first quarter, and the Hawks still trail 2-0. They get it in to Kate Roberts, but her shot is blocked that time, and the Warriors come away with it. McKay up the floor. She goes left side, that's Burner. Burner puts it on the floor, drives baseline, puts up the runner, that's no good. The putback is no good. And then the rebound by Draper and kicks it out to McKay and they'll reset. Draper on the wing. They work it inside, baseline shot, that won't go. Layton able to save it. And they get it back to Burners. Tips it across for Draper. Draper loses the handle and it's going to be out of bounds. Hay Springs basketball. So Emma Roberts out. She'll take a rest as Tana Badge comes into the game for the Hawks. They get it ahead quickly to Badge. Two on one. Badge across to Kate Roberts. Might have traveled there, but no call. And she can't get the shot to fall. And that's rebounded by Cruz. McKay back up the floor. For the Warriors, still 2-0, 4.20 to go now in the first quarter. That one tipped away by Hiding, but McKay gets it back. Draper now at the top of the key. She finds uh, Cruz. That shot won't go, and the offensive rebound and the putback by Abby Draper makes it a 4-0 ball game, and now back to the full court pressure. And that one's taken away by Draper. Draper down into the corner. And the Warriors back on offense, under four minutes to go and a 4-0 lead. There's Tana Badge with the interception of the entry pass down low. Here come the Hawks, trying to cut into this lead. Hiding all the way in, and she is fouled. And I believe that's Burner that's going to pick the foul up that time. It is. That is Caitlin Burner's first foul of the afternoon, and it puts Whitney Hiding at the free throw line. She'll have two free throws coming. Hiding's first free throw is good, and the Hawks on the, bowl, on the board. It is four to one. As now Emma Roberts comes in, she'll give Jen Sherbarth a rest. And Jessica Houck into the game for the Leighton Warriors. Second free throw from Hiding is on the way. Banks that one off the board and can't get it to fall. It'll stay four to one with 3.40 to go here. Burner gets it to Houck. Hauk works it inside for Cruz, can't make connections. It's out of bounds. Hay Springs Hawk basketball on the turnover. 3.32 to go first quarter. Hawks trail it 4-1. Glad to have you along with us on Sheridan County Journal Star coverage of Hay Springs basketball. Now we got a three-on-one. Now it's a three-on-two. Kate Roberts off glass and good. Kate Roberts gets the first field goal of the afternoon for the Hawks. It's 4-3. Back within one is Hay Springs. Nearly stolen away by Badge that time. Cruz has to go back out to get it on the wing. She'll dribble to the top of the key. She finds McKay on the right wing. Head fake, drives into the lane, has it poked away by Hiding. Turnaround jumper by McKay. That's no good. Badge hits the floor. Rebound by McKay. That won't go. Hawks need to box somebody out here. Now Jancic comes out of there with it, has it poked away. And she's got it, gets it ahead to Emma Roberts. Pull-up jumper by Emma Roberts is off the mark, no good. And with 2.45 to go, things will slow down just a little bit as the Leighton Warriors bring it up. That's McKay, 4-3. to Leighton Warriors with the one-point lead here in the first quarter. McKay picks up her dribble. Now she's got to have some help, and she gets it from Houck. And Houck loses it out of bounds. Tipped out of bounds by the Hawks, and so it'll stay with the Warriors. Bernard inbound it. Goes cross court, 
That is Jenkins. Jenkins works it inside for Cruz. Back out for Jenkins. Jenkins shot partially blocked and rebounded by Emma Roberts. If she is pushed. That'll be a foul on Jessica Houck. And that is the fifth team foul now on the Leighton Warriors. No fouls yet on the Lady Hawks. So two more fouls to the one-on-one -on -one bonus. And we are 2.23 left to go in the first quarter. Now Taylor Burner into the game here. So two Burner sisters looks like as now we've got a steal on the inbounds and Leighton back to work. This is the... We've got to make sure we get these right. This is Caitlin Burner on the shot. That's no good. Here's Draper with the shot. That won't go. Battle for it. Caitlin Burner with the rebound and the putback, but she is fouled. And Caitlin Burner heads to the free throw line for two shots. They'll give that foul to Sydney Jancic. That is her first. 4 to 3, 207 left to go. First quarter. Hay Springs trails by one. And again. A very close quarters here, another small gym. A nice playing service, but not a lot of room to work as Caitlin Burner makes the first free throw. Makes it five to three. Uh, makes it hard for us to get our camera far enough away from the court to get you a good view of the near sideline here, but we'll do the best that we can. Like to thank Jessie Badge for running the camera again for us today. She does a tremendous job and great to have her working with us here this afternoon, giving you some great video coverage of the Hay Springs Hawks. They get it into Taylor Burner now, or excuse me, that's Jenkins. She gives it off to Caitlin Burner. She drives all the way baseline. That shot won't go. Rebounded by Kate Roberts, but it's taken away by Jenkins. She puts the shot back up. Roberts gets it this time. She's not about to let that one get away. As Shayla Jenkins Nearly got an elbow from Kate Roberts. They go inside to Emma Roberts. Her shot up, and she is fouled. Emma Roberts will head to the line for two free throws. So the fouls starting to mount. They're going to give that foul to Natalie Cruz, and that is her first. But it's six team fouls now on the Leighton Warriors. So the Hawks will be in the one and one bonus the rest of the first half here. First free throw by Emma Roberts is in and out. No good, stays at five to three. Now Cruz out and McKay back in for the Leighton Warriors. So one more free throw for Emma Roberts. And it is good. Cuts the lead back to five to four with 136 to go in the first quarter. So Caitlin Burner brings it up the floor this time for Leighton on the wing for McKay. Jenkins on in the corner. Jenkins, one dribble, goes over the top, trying to get it inside. They find Taylor Burner, and she puts it home for two more. Now the Hawks working against the press. Dana Badge has it tipped away from her, poked away. Stolen but out of bounds on the sideline are the Leighton Warriors, and so the Hawks will get it back. They trail this one now 7-4 to four with 1.11 to go in the first quarter. Jancic on the right wing. Get it back to hiding. She sets it up. Hiding has it poked away. And that is Jenkins on the steal. She brings it up. Jenkins looks right side for Burner. They try to go over the top for Draper. And it's out of bounds. Hay Springs basketball. Forty-five seconds now as the Hawks get it in and Hiding loses it out of bounds. There's a Hay Springs turnover. And so the pressure by Layton does what it's supposed to, gets the turnover, and they'll have the ball with 43 seconds to go and a three-point lead at 7-4. to four. There's Caitlin Burner with the shot, but she can't get it to fall. Out of bounds off of Draper, and it'll be Hay Springs basketball with 38.7 left in the first quarter. It's just full court pressure here. They get it in to Hiding. Hiding throws it away. And now the Hawks get it back, then stolen back. Ball going everywhere. Now Hiding has it, but she's trapped. She dribbles out of the pressure. 
They get it ahead. Now we got numbers here for Hay Springs. Emma Roberts tries to get it to a sister, Kate Roberts, but it's stolen away. Good defensive job that time by Layton to get back. They had a three on one and able to defeat it. And Hay Springs will inbounds the ball with 22.7 seconds left. That one's poked away from Tana Badge, but we got a foul on the play and we'll have free throws. That's the uh, second foul on Danny McKay. We should be in the one and one bonus here. And we are. Tana Badge heads to the line. And she'll have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with 20 seconds left. Hay Springs trails this one 7-4. to four. Taylor Burner decides she wants to be in there. Takes her place, and now we're ready for the free throw. First free throw by Badge is off. No good. Rebound by Jenkins. She'll get it to Draper. She brings it across the timeline. They skip it across, and that is Taylor Burner on the wing. They go inside for Draper, and she traveled with it. Eight seconds for the Hawks to do something with it here. They trail by three. And now the Warriors fall back. They'll get rid of that full court pressure. Under five to go. Emma Roberts tees it up from three-point land. Oh, so close. Off the mark and no good. And so the first quarter ends with the Leighton Warriors in the lead at 7-4. to four. Pioneer Manor is a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs. We provide rehabilitation services and around-the-clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish most, a nurturing spirit and a commitment to quality. That's the Pioneer Manor in Hay Springs. Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank. Proudly supporting the Hawks, their FDIC insured, and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. We are ready to get the second quarter underway. Hay Springs trails 7-4 to four as we get ready to start the second stanza. Hay Springs with the basketball to get things going. Whitney hiding on the wing for Badge. Hay Springs still trying to find an offensive rhythm here. Kick it out for hiding. Three pointer on the way. That one misses everything. Shot back, put back by Kate Roberts, partially blocked. And here comes Layton. On the wing. Shot up. That's no good. Emma Roberts with the rebound. She'll get it to Jen Sherbarth. She finds Whitney hiding. She brings it across the timeline. Ahead to Badge. She tried to go inside for Kate Roberts. She had it poked away and another steal by the Warriors. On the wing for Draper. Hawks in the zone defense here. Baseline, that's McKay. Misses everything, but there's Cruz with the rebound and the putback. Hiding brings it down. She's going to run. A one on two here. Hiding all the way in. Lays it up and gets it to fall. Whitney Hiding goes coast to coast. She's got three points this afternoon, and it's back to a one-point one game at 7-6 to six as we're under seven minutes to go in the first half. That shot by Draper misses everything out of bounds. Hay Springs basketball with 6.50 to go in the second quarter. Emma Roberts will inbound the ball now. Gets it into Hiding. More pressure here as they get it ahead to Sherbarth. Quickly ahead to Kate Roberts. Roberts trying to get something done before that defense can set. And miscommunication there between her and Jen Sherbarth. Sails out of bounds. And it'll be late in basketball. Jenkins now comes back in. She'll replace Abby Draper. And here comes McKay with it. McKay brings it across, and they'll set it up. Hay Springs in a 2-3 zone now. Jenkins up top for McKay. McKay directs traffic, 6.30 to go, second quarter. Left side, 
Now they go inside for Jenkins, and she kicks it back up top. Caitlin Burner on the left wing, dribbles in, pull-up jumper. That one's short, no good. Rebound by Kate Roberts. Roberts gets it to Tana Badge. She finds hiding, and hiding brings it across. Hay Springs trails by one at 7-6, to 6.05 6 to go. Badge drives baseline, kicks it up top. Now they swing it out, hiding, head fake, puts it on the floor, gets it inside for Kate Roberts, and she's going to be fouled. That's going to be three fouls on Deidre Waite. That is the third foul on Deidre Waite, and it'll put Kate Roberts at the line for a pair of free throws. 5.54 to go in the second quarter. Hay Springs trails this one 7-6. to six. They haven't led here in the first half. Free throw is good. We are tied. Tied at seven. As now Jancic comes in and Emma Roberts heads to the bench for a breather. So Waite got the two quick fouls and now she's just picked up her third for the Warriors. Second free throw is off the mark. No good. Jancic's there for the rebound. Hiding. Thought about the three-pointer. Dribbles to the free throw line. Puts that one up. That's no good. Kate Roberts with the rebound and the putback. That one won't go. It's pulled down by Jenkins and tied up by Jancic that time. Possession arrow is in favor of the Leighton Warriors. They'll have the ball with 5.41 to go in the second quarter. We are tied at seven. Eight team fouls now for the Warriors and still just one foul for the Hay Springs Hawks here in the first half. So a good defensive effort without applying... Any fouls, that shot up no good. Rebound by Tana Badge. She tried to get the outlet to hiding, but that's taken away. And here come the Warriors. This is Caitlin Burner. She can't get the shot to fall. Now Roberts ahead to hiding through lots of traffic. Hiding, working against Caitlin Burner down to the baseline. Now she'll pull it back. Now she's trapped in the corner. Bad spot for hiding. Throws it up for Jancic. That one's tipped around and going to be corralled by the Warriors. That is Cruz that comes down with it. And here comes McKay across the timeline with five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Tied at seven. McKay pull up jumper from the baseline. That won't go. There's Caitlin Burner with the rebound and the putback all by herself. She's got three points on the afternoon. And it's back to a two-point lead at nine to seven for the Leighton Warriors. Tana Badge has it poked away. It'll stay with the Hawks. 4.40 to go now in the second quarter. So Hay Springs with the one and one bonus. See if they can make some aggressive moves to the basket and get to shoot some free throws here. Sherbarth, top of the key. Now a 2-3 zone by the Warriors. They've been in man defense most of the way here. On the wing for Hiding, dribbles in. Now she kicks it out to Sherbarth. They swing it around for Badge. Sherbarth goes inside for Roberts, kicks it out for Hiding. Thought about the three. Pull up jumper for Hiding. In and out. That won't go. Rebound Jenkins. Jenkins goes over the top, finds McKay, and she brings it across with 4.10 to go. McKay, front of the rim, no good. Rebound by Sherbarth, gets it to Hiding. She wasn't ready for that pass at that close range. Hit her right in the face. And now we've got another tie-up, and this will be Hay Springs basketball on the alternating possession. <laughs> Sherbarth misjudged the distance between her and Whitney hiding and uh, got her right in the nose with that pass. But Hay Springs with the basketball, 3.59 to go now in the second quarter. 9-7 to seven is the Leighton lead. Hiding in the corner. She'll dribble up, now picks up her dribble, and she'll get it to Sherbarth. Skips it across to Jancic. They work it inside. That's Sierra McCants in the game now. She can't get her shot to go. And Leighton using their size, really uh, making it tough for post players for Hay Springs to get any shots going inside. On the wing, that's Cruz. Her pass tipped. And now a triple team on Kate Higgins, who's into the game for the Leighton Warriors. Timeout called by Leighton with 3.30 to go in the second quarter, and it's a 9-7 Leighton Warrior lead. Pioneer Manor and Security First Bank of Hay Springs are the sponsors of today's game, and I know we say it a lot, but uh, make sure that you stop in and thank those folks for sponsoring today's action. You don't necessarily need to take out a loan or, or uh, 
consign yourself to the Pioneer Manor, but step in and let those folks know that you appreciate their sponsorship of these basketball games because it is uh, their uh, sponsorship that makes it possible for us to take these long road trips and get down here and bring these basketball games to you. Tried to pick up as many away games as we possibly can this year as not everybody can make these long road trips. We understand that and trying to help help you out as much as we can. That shot partially blocked but tipped around and Caitlin Burner comes out of there with it. Draper back to Burner. Now back to a man-to-man -man defense by the Hawks. That one's tipped around and out of bounds off of Jen Sherbarth. It'll stay with the Leighton Warriors. 319 to go here and a 9-7 Leighton lead. Cruz to inbound the ball. That one's tipped around, but Jenkins is there to scoop it up. Caitlin Burner skips it across to Cruz on the wing. Puts it on the floor, drives baseline. Now she kicks it out for Draper. Across for Caitlin Burner. And that one's no good. Rebounded by Kate Roberts. Hiding up the floor with three minutes to go in the first half. Now back to that zone. Kind of a matchup look here as McCants has it tipped away and taken away by Cruz. Cruz ahead for Jenkins, loses the handle out of bounds. Hay Springs basketball, 2.40 to go now in the first half. And now McKay and Halk back in as Cruz and Higgins head to the bench for Layton. Jen Sherbarth brings it up, gets it ahead to Emma Rob or excuse me, that's Kate Roberts, and she traveled with it. Trying to get some points in transition and get a look at the basket before that Leighton defense gets a chance to get set up. They've been very good inside against the bigs of Hay Springs here this afternoon. And so the Hawks trying to run a little bit and get some chances before that defense gets a chance to set. Hauk takes the shot, but she is fouled, and she'll head to the line for a pair of free throws. They're going to give that foul to Sierra McCants, and that is her first. Just the second team fouls, second team foul for the Hawks here in the first half. Emma Roberts is going to check back into the game at, between free throws here as Hawks' first free throw rattles around and falls. So it makes it a 10 to 7 game now as McCants comes out. So one more free throw on the way for Jessica Houck. And she gets them both to fall, makes it 11 to seven, it's a four point ball game. Emma Roberts gets it in to Sydney Jancic. Up the sideline comes Jancic, now she'll slow it down, gets it across to Whitney Hiding. Jancic on the wing, up to Hiding. Jen Sherbarth now with it, and kicks it out to Hiding. They'll find Sherbarth again. Goes down to Emma Roberts, puts it on the floor. The shot partially blocked. Gets it back and puts it in. Good tough work there by Emma Roberts. She's got three on the afternoon. It's 11 to nine. We're under two minutes to go in the first half. Hauk with it on the wing and gets it across to McKay. Caitlin Burner puts it on the floor, drives baseline, pull up jumper. That one's short, no good. Rebound by Whitney Hiding. Up the floor come the Hawks. Now Hiding's going to pull that back out. Not much advantage there. Finds Kate Roberts. She'll kick it out to Jancic and back around to Hiding. Hawks regroup and set up the offense here. Back to a man-to-man -man look now for the Leighton Warriors. 1.20 to go now. Sherbarth gets it. Puts it on the floor with the left hand. Kicks it back up top for Hiding. She dribbles into the free throw line. Leaves it out in the corner for Jancic. Emma Roberts drives in, good strong move, can't get that one to fall, and the rebound comes down to McKay. Up the floor come the Warriors in a hurry, now they'll pull it back. Hauk across to Caitlin Burner in the lane for Draper. That shot won't go as we're now under a minute. Rebound Emma Roberts. 50 seconds left here in the first half. Back up to Hiding. Now to Jancic on the wing. 42 seconds. Hiding over to 
Sherbarth, they work it, try to go inside to Kate Roberts, and they turn it over. 35 seconds now for the Warriors to work as McKay sets it up. Hauk on the wing, guarded closely, taken away by the Hawks. 25 seconds, plenty of time to work here. Lots of time to get a good look at the basket and tie this or maybe even take the lead. They go high post to Kate Roberts. She has it taken away by Caitlin Berner. Under 15 to go, and here comes Berner working against hiding. Berner on the wing, picks up her dribble, finds McKay under 10. Six seconds to go. That shot off the mark, no good. Hiding. We had a uh, whistle, and we got a double dribble called, trying to find which official called the called it. Double dribble, and so a turnover with two and a half seconds left to go in the half. It'll be Leighton Warrior basketball. So now they'll sub in. They'll bring Taylor Berner in, and Jenkins takes a seat on the bench. So two and a half seconds for the Warriors to work. They skip it across. They get it to Berner. She puts it up. Nearly got it to fall, but the first half ends. It is 11 to 9 in favor of the Leighton Warriors. So a good, close, but very low scoring game here in the first half. We're headed to halftime, and it is Leighton 11 and Hay Springs 9 here on the Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Hawk Basketball 2015. It's an icon, the most popular sports car in America. It is the Ford Mustang, and it's available at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. This 310 horsepower turbocharged beauty comes with all the bells and whistles, and it's sure to turn heads wherever you go. The selectable driving modes allow you to choose between sport, track, snow and wet, or normal conditions. With an awesome sound system, this Mustang is ready to roll down the highway at 32 miles per gallon. Test drive the iconic Ford Mustang at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. It's an icon, the most popular sports car in America. Kim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injury, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon.
So three minutes left in the halftime break here between the Hay Springs Hawks and the Leighton Warriors. Hay Springs on the short end of this one, 11 to nine, a low scoring first half. And want to remind you again that if you're not a subscriber to the Sheridan County Journal Star, you certainly should be. Get all the news that is news in Sheridan County, including athletic coverage of the Hay Springs Hawks. And that uh, issue of the Sheridan County Journal Star, the online edition, if you subscribe to the online edition, is available on Tuesday afternoons. The paper doesn't come out until Wednesday. And so the earliest that uh, paper copy is available is Wednesday at the earliest. Usually it's Thursday or Friday by the time the Postal Service gets done with it. And so you can have that in your hot little hands on Tuesday afternoons and be in the know on all of the current events going on in Sheridan County before anybody else has a chance to see it by getting the online edition of the Sheridan County Journal Star. Just go to SheridanCountyJournalStar.net slash subscriptions. And of course, the bonus of the online edition is that it is available in full color. And so very appealing to the eye, we might say. So check it out at SheridanCountyJournalStar.net slash subscriptions. A minute and a half left in the halftime break. Just about ready to get things underway in the second half. So a big difference from yesterday as the Hawks exploded in the second quarter. They were they had 30 points at halftime yesterday, just nine here this afternoon in a very, very defensive-minded basketball game here in the first half. We'll see if that changes as we head to the third quarter. The big, the big difference in the ball game has been the ability of the Leighton Warriors to shut down the inside game by the Hay Springs Hawks. They have really been able to deny uh, the Hawks any good looks at the basket from the paint, and that's made a big difference and really negated uh, the Hay Springs Hawks inside game here in the first half. So just about ready to get things underway. I can't see the, it must be Leighton Warrior basketball to start the second half. As we get ready to get things underway, Hay Springs has their final instructions and we are ready to get things going. We've got our young cameraman has things ready to run and away we go. McKay gets the ball inbounds to Michaela Draper, or excuse me, Caitlin Draper. Caitlin Draper, and that's stolen away by the Hawks. And back on offense comes Hay Springs for their first possession of the second half. They trail it by two, 11 to nine. Now into a zone defense. Looks like kind of a one, two, two, excuse me, check that. Playing a man defense. They're just well spaced on the floor, are the Hawks. So back to this man to man defense now by the Warriors. There's a shot by Emma Roberts. That's up and no good. Rebounded by Cruz. Jancic steps in front of it, gets the steal. Hawks back on offense. Here comes Emma Roberts. That runner won't go. And the rebound pulled down by Caitlin Burner. Burner up the floor for the Warriors. On the wing for Cruz. Cruz guarded closely by Jancic. Now up top for McKay. In the corner for Cruz. Inside for Draper, and they're going to get Kate Roberts on the foul. Kate Roberts picks up her first, and that will put Abby Draper at the line for her first two free throws of the afternoon. First free throw by Draper is good. And she's got one more coming. 12 to nine is the score. 6.55 left to go third quarter, and she made them both. 13 to nine now. 
Emma Roberts throws it in. Luckily, Kate Roberts there to pick it up. Back to Emma, trying to break this full court pressure. Emma drives all the way to the baseline, goes inside for Kate Roberts. Squares up, puts it up off the back of the rim, no good. And uh, Jancic comes out of there with it. And Hayspring sets it back up. Hiding drives all the way in. Layup is good. Whitney Hiding has five on the afternoon. It's 13 to 11, back to just a two point lead for the Warriors with 6.25 to go. And there's another Leighton Warrior turnover. That one out of bounds, out the door and out into the hallway. Gonna get your money's worth on that turnover, I guess. 6.23 to go, 13 to 11 is the score. Full court pressure again. Jancic gets it into Hiding. Hiding brings it up, gets a pick from Emma Roberts, goes ahead to Kate Roberts at the free throw line. Now back out to Hiding. They skip it over to Jancic. Jen Sherbarth drives in and kicks it back out. Jancic, she'll get it back to Hiding. Hiding drives in, lays it off glass, and good. That play has worked twice here in the second half, and we are tied at 13. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Three-pointer on the way for Cruz off the back iron. Long rebound pulled down by McKay. Gets it to Caitlin Burner. She'll drive baseline. Puts up the shot. That one falls off no good. Rebounded by Sherbarth. And Hay springs up the floor with 5.40 to go. Ahead to Emma Roberts. Pull-up jumper for Roberts. Misses everything. McKay gathers that one in on the baseline. And back come the Leighton Warriors. Cruz back up to McKay, swings it around to Caitlin Burner. Now they swing it back to the other side. That's Cruz. Zone defense here by the Hawks. Trying to keep it out of the hands of Waite inside. Now they find Draper. She puts it on the floor, but she, oh, she, they're going to say she was pushed there. And that's going to go against Whitney Hiding. That is her first. Looked like a travel, but she was bumped. And so out of bounds for the Warriors. Waite's shot is up, and it is good. Deidre Waite with her first points of the afternoon makes it 15-13 to 13 as we're under five to go in the third quarter. They'll get it to Hiding, and the sure-handed Hiding brings it across. Gets it ahead to Jancic. Wants to go inside. That's kicked out of bounds by McKay. It'll stay with the Hawks. They get it into Hiding. Hiding working against Caitlin Burner. She gets it across. Now high post for Emma Roberts. And that shot a little too hard. Tipped around and there's McKay. Battle for it on the floor. And we got a tie up. And it should be Hay Springs Hawk basketball. And it is. Hawk basketball with 4.34 to go third quarter. And the Hawks trail this one 15 to 13. Now Jenkins going to come in and give Draper a bit of a rest. So Shayla Jenkins into the game now for the Warriors. Hiding sets it up. Man-to-man -man defense again. Warriors have been in man-to-man -man for most of this game, all but just a little bit. That one's tipped around and stolen by Jenkins. Tried to get in, it inside for Sherbarth. Couldn't make connections. Taken away by the Warriors. Cruz brings it across now for Layton. On the wing for Burner. That one's tipped away by Sidney Jancic. Picks it up, Jancic all the way in. No foul, and she missed the layup. Jenkins with the rebound. Now Caitlin Burner comes back the other way. Wait, saying, give me the ball down in the lane. Jumping up and down, but it's taken away again. This is Whitney Hiding. Two on one, ahead to Kate Roberts. Left hand up, and good. Kate Roberts for two more. She's got five on the afternoon, and we are tied at 15 again with 3.40 to go in the third quarter. So the Hawks able to draw even a couple of times, but they haven't been able to get the lead here this afternoon. See if they can get another defensive stop. They've got a couple of turnovers here in the third quarter, and they'd really like another one here. Caitlin Burner now working against Hiding. They go inside, that's tipped away on the floor, taken away by Jancic, and the Hawks get that turnover again. Here comes Hiding. Jancic on the wing for Sherbarth. Jancic to trigger it this time for the Hawks. Hiding on the wing. Now Kate Roberts top of the key. They go inside for Sherbarth. Sherbarth kicks it out for Hiding. 
drives in, gets it to Kate Roberts. Out for Sherbarth, skips it across to Jancic. Inside for Emma Roberts, loses her balance, and a traveling call. Emma trying to back in, lost her balance, and traveled. Tied at 15, 215, 252 excuse me, to go in the third quarter. Good, tight basketball game here. Two teams with very similar records. Layton with at uh, three and five, and Hay Springs at two and four. And now Hauk back into the game, and that one's taken away by Jancic. Down the floor, all the way in is Jancic, and she's pushed, and no call. Out of bounds off Jancic, and it'll be Layton Warrior basketball. And there was contact, but no foul called. And so 2.30 to go, we're still tied at 15. Low scoring basketball game here this afternoon. That one's tipped away and taken away by Jen Sherbarth as she falls to the floor. She's called for the travel and they'll give it right back to the Leighton Warriors. So the Hawks playing some excellent defense here in the second half as now Taylor Burner comes into the game. She'll replace Natalie Cruz. McKay gets it in to Taylor Burner. That one's tipped around, and it'll stay with the Warriors. Hawks with their hands in every passing lane here in the third quarter, doing a great job of disrupting the offense and making it hard for the Leighton Warriors to get any offensive rhythm going here. We are tied at 15. There's Jenkins with the shot, pulled down. The rebound, that's Kate Roberts. She throws it at the feet of Hiding, but she recovers and brings it up the floor. Ahead to Sherbar. She drives in, kicks it out for Jancic. Hiding in the corner for Roberts. Pull up jumper. That one's off no good, but there's Sherbarth with the rebound and the putback misses everything. Jenkins with the rebound. Hands it off to McKay. And we're now under 145 to go in the third quarter. Jenkins with the long shot. That misses the whole works. It's out of bounds. Hay Springs basketball. And we got a timeout on the floor called by Hay Springs. 1.39 to go third quarter. We are tied at 15. Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank. Proudly supporting the Hawks. They're FDIC insured and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. Pioneer Manor is a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs. We provide rehabilitation services and around-the-clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish most a nurturing spirit, and a commitment to quality. That is the Pioneer Manor in Hay Springs. So ready to finish up the last one minute and 39 seconds of the third quarter. Tied at 15, and Hay Springs will have the basketball, and now Layton back to that full court pressure again. Trying to get a little first aid work done on Emma Roberts. She's got a, she had hit the floor and she's got a skinned up knee. Quinn Tinsvold trying to get a Band-Aid to stick, but it's not wanting to hold very well. And so Emma going to have to step out of the game for a little bit as they get some tape on that. Tana Badge takes her place in the lineup. So now we are ready to go. And Jancic looks to inbound it. She'll get it into Whitney hiding in the corner. Back to Jancic. Nearly traveled, thought she slid that pivot foot. A lot of pressure now as the Warriors have stepped it up a little bit. Tana Badge from the corner, knocks it down, it's good. Tana Badge with two, and the Hawks with their first lead of the day at 17 to 15 with 120 left to go in the third quarter. Hawks have played outstanding defense here in this third quarter. There's another missed shot, and the rebound by Badge. So Badge comes in because of the injury to Emma Roberts and wastes no time in making her mark. There's a shot by Sherbarth up, no good. Tipped around and 
Rebound gathered up by the Warriors. Now they'll get it ahead to Caitlin Berner. Up the floor in a hurry. Sherbarth gets down quickly and cuts her off. And Hiding comes away with the rebound. Jen Sherbarth, a hard worker, she saw that play developing and busted it down the floor, was able to cut the ball handler off, and the Hawks get the turnover. Kate Roberts drives in, has her shot blocked, and now we've got a traveling call on Draper. She doesn't like the call as one of the Hawks reached in, got a hand on the basketball, and the traveling call turns it back over to the Hawks. They lead it 17 to 15 with 32 and a half seconds left to go in the third quarter. Exciting back and forth basketball action here. Hiding, leaves it for Sherbarth. Her shot is short. Two Hawks hit the floor. It's gonna be off of Taylor Burner out of bounds and it'll stay with Hay Springs. Sydney Jancic to inbound it for the Hawks. Finds Tana Badge and she's gonna draw the foul. Tana Badge will have a pair of free throws here. And we seem to have forgotten who we called the foul on. The referee trying to figure it out. Now he's got it. They're going to give this foul to Shayla Jenkins, and that is her first. So two free throws for Tana Badge. She's got two points on the afternoon. Free throw, nothing but net that time. She's got three points, and it extends the Hay Springs lead to 18 to 15. 23 and a 23.6 seconds left in the third quarter. And we got a lane violation, but it won't matter as the free throw falls in anyway. And it's a four point lead now for Hay Springs. Biggest lead of the afternoon and the only lead that they've had here as they've just taken the lead late in the third quarter. Jenkins shot blocked by Kate Roberts. Pulled back down by Draper. Jenkins with the rebound and we're gonna have a Hay Springs foul here. It's on the floor. A reach in foul, and they're going to call that on Sydney Jancic, and that is her second. Three team fouls now for the Hawks here in the second half. They get it in to Hauk. Hauk, pull up jumper, misses everything. Jen Sherbarth with five seconds left, has it poked away, out of bounds. She slaps it down the sideline. Hiding saves it back in as time runs out, but the Hay Springs Hawks have turned the tables. They now lead it 19 to 15. It was a 10-4 run in that third quarter for the Hay Springs Hawks and credit the stiff defense by the Hawks. They took it away and forced a whole bunch of turnovers there in the third quarter. Great job defensively and finally starting to find some offense. At the end of the third quarter, it is Hay Springs 19 and Layton 15. Say thanks to sponsors of today's basketball action, Pioneer Manor of Hay Springs and the Security First Bank of Hay Springs. We will be in action here. Sheridan County Journal Star.net will have coverage of Alliance and Gordon Rushville girls basketball action on Tuesday. We'll have that action, and that is just girls as the Alliance Bulldogs come to Gordon to face off against the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. And then Friday, Friday evening, these Hay Springs Hawks will be in action again as they host the Gordon Rushville Mustangs in the Battle of Sheridan County. That game will be next Friday evening and we'll have all of that coverage for you right here on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. So join us Tuesday evening and again next Friday as we're ready for more basketball action. The fourth quarter underway, eight minutes on the clock. McCown works inside for Draper. Draper, baseline runner, that won't go. But she is fouled on the shot. And so Abby Draper will have two free throws. She's two for two this afternoon. They give that foul to Kate Roberts and that is her second. So Abby Draper with five points so far on the afternoon. That free throw is no good. So still a four point ball game. It's 19 to 15, Hawks with the four point lead. Draper pounds the floor, lines it up and lets it fly and she missed them both. Rebound Kate Roberts. Roberts gets it out to Tana Badge. She'll find Jancic and she brings it quickly up the floor working 
against Caitlin Berner. Across to Badge, now Whitney hiding. Hiding on the floor, she traveled with it. She declared her pivot foot when she put the ball on the floor, picked the pivot up first, and you can't do that. 19 to 15, 7.37 to go in the game. Another good basketball game for you here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net. Glad to have you along. As the Hawks back into that zone defense, there's Draper, free throw line jumper won't go. Emma Roberts has it poked out of bounds by Cruz. It'll stay with the Hawks, and now back to that full court pressure. The Hawks have done a good job here in the second half against that half court pressure as they get it into hiding, but they keep being a little bit more aggressive all the time. They're gonna get the tape away, take away, that's weight. Her shot partially blocked, can't get the put back to go. And now that's going to be, who is it? That is McCown with the rebound, the putback, and the foul. And, Mc, uh, excuse me, McKay, not McCown, McKay. And she'll have two free throws coming. Five team fouls now for the Hawks. Because that's Tana Badge's first foul of the afternoon. So McKay at the free throw line, makes it 19 to 16. The second one is gonna fall in as well. And we're back to a two point ball game at 19 to 17. Hiding's trapped, she gets it to Badge, ahead quickly to Emma Roberts. And a traveling call on Emma Roberts. As the Hawks in a hurry to get this one up the floor and they turn it over. So the pressure, the increased amount of uh, pressure here now by the Warriors here in the fourth quarter. They get another turnover. Under seven to go. Hay Springs 19, Layton 17. Baseline, and that is Caitlin Berner steps on the end line and turns it over. But the bad thing is the Hawks are gonna have to try and deal with this pressure. And there's another steal, but on the end line is Waite. And we got a timeout now called by Hay Springs. 6.49 to go, fourth quarter. Hay Springs clinging to a 19 to 17 lead. Five team fouls for the Hawks, just one for Layton. So pretty much the polar opposite of the foul situation is what we had in the first half. Second half scoring for the Hawks, Whitney Hiding has four points, Kate Roberts with two, and Tana Badge with four points for the Hawks. In the second half for the Leighton Warriors, Abby Draper with two, Deidre Waite with two, and Danny McKay with two. So an extremely defensive-oriented game here. Good defense being played by both teams here and extremely low scoring. See if the Hawks have the combination now as they get it to Emma Roberts she brings it up the floor two on two Roberts drives into the lane in the corner that's Jancic has it knocked out of bounds by McKay it'll stay with the Hawks they get it in to Emma Roberts she puts it up and in for two more Emma Roberts on the inbounds play Makes it 21-17 with 6.35 to go in the fourth quarter. There's a steal by Tana Badge. Couldn't handle it. Tips it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Warriors. So Jenkins now comes back into the game. She'll replace Draper for the Warriors. 6.30 on the clock and a four-point Hawk lead here. They'll get it into Jenkins. Can't handle it out of bounds. Turnover and Hawk basketball. And Waite makes it really hard to get that ball in bounds with her big frame there and those long arms, and they get the turnover. Cruz leaves it for McKay. 6.20 to go, fourth quarter. McKay gets the pick, goes inside for Waite. That's taken away and then picked back up by McKay. Cruz for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Jancic. She gets it to Badge, ahead to Kate Roberts. Kate Roberts, she's got a two on one, and she is fouled. Kate Roberts will head to the line. She'll have two free throws. And 
They're going to give that foul to Caitlin Berner, and that is her second. And so Kate Roberts heads to the line. She's got five points this afternoon. She's one for two from the free throw line. That one is short off the front of the rim and no good. Six minutes on the dot left to go in this one and a four-point Hay Springs lead, 21-17. to 17. Kate Roberts, the 5'11 senior with one more shot coming, puts it up and that one is good. Extends the lead to five. With six under six to go now and a five-point lead, the trouble that uh, the Warriors have had scoring here would make that seem like a Fairly safe bet as now they find Waite inside. Waite, no idea how close she was and what the open look she had at the basket. Put it on the floor instead of turning around and just shooting it, but she draws the foul. And that is Jancic with her third foul. And it puts Deidre Waite at the line. She'll have two free throws. Waite's first free throw falls off in right side, no good. 5.43 to go, 22 to 17 is the Hay Springs lead. Wait with one more. It's up, and that one's going to fall in. Back to a four point lead at 22 to 18. Hay Springs gets the ball inbounds quickly, and they get it ahead to Kate Roberts. She finds Sister Emma cutting to the basket, blocked. Blocked that time. Now taken away by Jancic, but she's trapped in the corner. Gets it out to Hiding. They swing it around to Kate Roberts. Tana Badge. And Tana can't handle it. It's out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. She could have let that one go, but she tried to corral it. Couldn't handle it, and they'll turn it back over to the Warriors with 5.25 to go. 22-18, to 18, Hay Springs by four. Hay Springs back in that zone defense. Down in the corner. Now they go down low for Waite. Her shot up, rolls over, and in. So Deidre Waite with two more. She's got five points, all of those. And another steal on the inbounds pass. And a foul, and more free throws for Waite. And that is the fourth foul on Sydney Jancic. So they put Waite on the inbounder, and uh, we don't have a height listed, but she's got to be every bit of 5'11 or 6 feet, and she's got long arms as she knocks that one down. Makes it really hard to get that ball in bounds. Now Sherbarth comes in. She'll replace Tana Badge, and it's down to a one-point lead. It's 22-21 with 5.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. So that five-point lead of the Hawks has evaporated down to one. And that one's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Emma Roberts. She tries to get it to Jancic, gets stolen away again. There's Waite, that shot won't go. Rebound too far under the basket that time. Waite, and they're gonna call a foul on Kate Roberts with the block, and they'll send Waite back to the line for two more. Kate Roberts just picked up her third. And so all of a sudden, the Hawks having a devil of a time getting that ball inbound. And the Warriors making some hay here. That free throw falls off no good, so it's still a one-point lead. But a chance to tie here by weight. Wait, tees it up. And she missed them both, but offensive rebound. Back to Caitlin Berner. That one's no good. Rebounded by Cruz, tipped out of bounds, and it's gonna, they're going to say it went off of Sydney Jancic, and it'll stay with Layton. Five minutes left in this one, 22 to 21. It's a one-point Hay Springs lead. Cruz to inbound it for the Warriors. Cruz over the top to McKay. McKay swings it around. That's Caitlin Berner back down in the corner for Jenkins. They work it inside for Waite. That one won't go, and now we're going to get Waite coming over the back of Kate Roberts, and that is going to be Waite's fourth foul. So four fouls now on Waite and four on Sydney Jancic for the Hawks. Waite back up there guarding that inbounds pass and Waite has been getting really aggressive guarding that inbounds pass. She came across the line that time and they're going to warn her. They're going to say you gotta, you can't cross that line. And so they're back her off just a little bit. 
Could have called her on it several times before, but they finally get her on it. So now they'll try and inbound it again, and they get it into hiding. Now ahead to Emma Roberts, 4.50 to go. Ahead to Kate Roberts. They skip it across to Jen Sherbarth. Outside for Jancic, just inside the three-point line. It's good. Sydney Jancic knocks it down for her first two points of the game, and they are big ones, 24-21. 4.35 to go. Back to a three-point lead. Three-pointer on the way by Burner. That one won't go. Tipped around. Pulled down by Emma Roberts. And here come the Hawks. 425. Emma Roberts all the way in. Now she stops. She'll kick it back out. That one's tipped out of bounds off Jenkins. No. They're going to say Jenkins didn't touch it. And it'll be Leighton basketball. 30-second timeout called by the Hawks. 420 to go fourth quarter. And a three-point Hay Springs lead at 24-21. to Make sure that you say thanks for uh, today's sponsors. Thank these good folks for bringing basketball action to you today. Pioneer Manor in Hay Springs and the Security First Bank of Hay Springs. Again, make sure you join us next Friday evening for these Hay Springs Hawks as they host the Gordon Rushville Mustangs in the Battle of Sheridan County. See if we can get a time on that broadcast check our calendar here as we go. Uh, looks like the JV action is set to start at 4 o'clock, so we would expect, expect varsity action to start somewhere around roughly 5.30 to 6 o'clock next Friday evening. So all of that action available right here on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. So Leighton will inbound the basketball with four minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Eight team fouls now for Hay Springs, just three for Leighton. Jenkins on the wing. Now they'll swing it back around, and that's McKay on the left wing. They find Burner. That's tipped out of bounds off of Emma Roberts, and they'll have to reset. Caitlin Burner will inbound the basketball. Three-point Hay Springs lead, hanging on. And that one's through the hands and picked up by Jen Sherbarth, but she's tied up by weight, and it'll go back over to the Hay Springs Hawks with 4.05 to go. Quick hands and kind of a dangerous thing for weight to reach in there. She's got four fouls. She's going to have to be very careful. Even though she got the tie-up, that's a good way to get a reach-in foul as Jen Sherbarth puts it on the floor and brings it up the sideline. Sherbarth all the way in, and they're going to get a blocking foul on Draper. Abby Draper, but that's just her first foul and the fourth team foul of the second half for the Leighton Warriors. Under four to go now. 3.57 left to go in regulation. 24 to 21. Kate Roberts, jumper, misses everything, tipped around and pulled down by Caitlin Burner. Burner puts it on the floor. Hawks giving her a hard time and she brings it across the timeline and they'll finally get it to Jenkins. Top of the key, Draper. Finds McKay in the corner. They go across. That one's taken away by Emma Robertson. We're going to have a foul called on Caitlin Burner, I believe. It is. Caitlin Burner called for the foul. That is her third. And that is the fifth team foul now on the Warriors. 3.35 left. Three-point lead, and that one's taken away on the inbounds by Jenkins. Jenkins comes back the other way. Three and a half left to go. Regulation. Jenkins cross court. Caitlin Burner, three-pointer up. That one's off, no good. Rebound by Draper. That's no good. Jenkins with the rebound and the putback. And Shayla Jenkins with her first two of the afternoon pulls it back within one. It's 24 to 23 with 319 left to go in the game. This is my 2012 Ford Focus from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. I bought this car for short trips around the area and thought that I was getting an inexpensive disposable car. What I got was a roomy, comfortable, well-built car that gets outstanding fuel economy. It's great for going to Lincoln for a Husker game. I consistently get above 35 miles per gallon and it comes in a package that is surprisingly comfy and fun to drive. You can test drive a Ford Focus at your Sheridan County Ford dealer. Sides in Milburn Ford in Rushville. Three nineteen left to go, fourth quarter, and Hay Springs clinging to a 24-23 lead. It's been back and forth basketball action. Hay Springs trailed for most of the game. 
until midway through the third quarter when they finally took the lead. They've led by as many as five, but that's now been cut to one. 24-23, 3.19 left to go fourth quarter, and Hay Springs will inbound the basketball. And now they'll get a tie-up on the inbounds pass, and that's going to be Leighton Warrior basketball on the alternating possession. So another turnover. Hay Springs had done a good job against this full court pressure, but they've really amped it up here in the fourth quarter to have the Leighton Warriors, and they've gotten several turnovers, made life difficult. There's a turnaround jumper by Waite, and she's going to head back to the free throw line for two more free throws. And that's Kate Roberts, and that is her fourth. So foul starting to mount here for the Hawks as that's now their ninth team foul. The next one puts the Warriors into the double bonus. Waits first free throw falls off no good. She started off two for three. Now she's two for uh, a whole bunch. Two for seven as now Kate Roberts comes to the bench, and Sierra McCants comes in to do battle with Waite here and give Roberts a break as she just picked up her fourth foul. Waite's second free throw falls in, and we are tied again at 24. 3.10 to go. Emma Roberts brings it up the floor. Two freshmen on the floor here for the Hawks. McCants and Emma Roberts. Jancic, runner from the baseline. That one falls off no good. There's Emma Roberts, tries to get it to go back up. And it's taken away, and here come the Warriors under three to go. They get it inside to wait. That shot is short. Rebound by Jenkins, and her put back no good. And another foul for the Hawks. And that'll put the Leighton Warriors in the double bonus the rest of the way. They're going to give that foul to Emma Roberts. That is her first. And Shayla Jenkins with her first free throws of the afternoon. First one is good, and that puts the Warriors back in the lead at 25 to 24. And she makes them both. It's a two point late in lead now, 2.46 to go. Roberts gets it in, now tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawks. Roberts feeling like she was left all alone there, hollering for some help. Now they'll get it into hiding, and they're going to say, as she's tackled with the basketball, they're going to say it goes off of hiding and out of bounds, and they'll give it back over to the Leighton Warriors with 2.43 left to go. Jenkins. For Cruz, long jumper, that one's in and out, no good. Tipped around, Wait, very well, could have got her fifth foul for coming over the back that time, but it's out of bounds off of the Hawks, and it'll stay with the Warriors. Kate Roberts comes back in. Sierra McCants out. McCants did a good job there doing battle with Wait. This Leighton Warrior team, very different team with Wait not in the game. Be nice to get her with one more foul. Emma Roberts goes up straight. Wait, misses, but she connects on the rebound and the putback. And two more for Deidre Wait. Quickly ahead for Kate Roberts. Takes the pass. Wait with the block that time. And they take it away again. It's now a four point lead. Now the Hawks get the turnover. That one's blocked out of bounds by McKay. And so the Hawks, at one point, were up five. They now find themselves down four. It's 28-24 with 2.15 left to go as Emma Roberts comes to the bench. And Tana Badge back into the game. They go inside for Jen Sherbarth. She's fouled on the shot. Jen Sherbarth will have a pair of free throws. They give that foul to Natalie Cruz. That is her second. To Jen Sherbarth with a pair of free throws. Her first two of the afternoon. First free throw off, no good. And her second one, also no good. That one's tipped around and out of bounds. They're going to say late in basketball. So the Hawks 
not getting any calls to go their way, and that's how it is sometimes. They need a little bit of a break here with two minutes and 10 seconds left to go. They trail it by four at 28 to 24. McKay, left wing for Burner. Now they swing it around. Jenkins dribbles in, lets that one fly. Long rebound comes down and pulled back down by the Warriors and a timeout on the floor by Layton. Timeout on the floor, 156 left to go. It's Layton 28 and Hay Springs 24. Kim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injury, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. 156 left to go fourth quarter and the Hawks trailing 28-24. 10 team fouls for Hay Springs, 6 team fouls for Layton. So Layton in the double bonus and the Hawks in the one and one after the next fouls here. The Hawks trailed 7-4 after the first quarter and 11-9 at halftime. They turned that around and led it 19 to 15 at the start of the fourth quarter, but it's gone back the other way now. They led by as many as five, but they trail now 28 to 24. Late in basketball as we get ready to go here. They get the ball in to Caitlin Burner. Burner dribbles to her left, gets a pick, working against Jancic. Hawks in the man-to-man -man defense now, trying to apply some defensive pressure. Bernard drives baseline, lays that one up. That one's too strong, won't go, and we're going to have a foul called. And I think they're going to get Natalie Cruz with the foul. It is Cruz. That is her third, and that's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity now for the Hay Springs Hawks. Chance to put some points on the board without running any time on the clock, and that's exactly what they need. So Jen Sherbarth. She missed her first two. Now she's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Sherbar's first free throw. That one is good. Back to a three-point ball game, and she'll get another try. And that one's off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by McKay. She had Caitlin Burner streaking down the court, but decided to play it safe and not try and hit her with the pass. Now they go cross court back to McKay. Under a minute and 30 to go. Hay Springs going to have to apply some defensive pressure and try and get some steals here. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. Again, this one called by Layton. So another timeout with 1.21 left to go fourth quarter. And it's a 28-25 Layton Warrior lead. Sides in Milburn Ford in Rushville is your Sheridan County Ford dealer. They have an excellent service department that works on all makes and models. So why would you drive hours to buy a car from someone you will never see again when you can do business locally with a dealer who will stand behind their product and has the service department to back it up? Sides in Milburn Ford will help you find the right vehicle and they will do it with the personal touch that only your hometown dealer can provide. Stop in at Sides in Milburn Ford in Rushville. They're the people you can trust. So another exciting game here. Second day of our two-day road trip. Yesterday afternoon, these Hay Springs Hawks with a big win over the Banner County Wildcats and the Hay Springs boys lost an overtime thriller 53-50 yesterday afternoon and an equally good game here this afternoon as the Hawks trail 28-25 with 1.20 to go. Wait on the inbounds pass, takes it to the hoop, lays it up and in. All of Waite's points have come in the second half and now we got a steal of the inbounds pass by Caitlin Berner. She puts that one up. And just like that, the lead has expanded to 32 to 25 and a timeout called by Hay Springs with 111 left. 
here in the fourth quarter. Deidre Waite in foul trouble for the entire first half. She has come alive here in the second half with 11 points, four, four uh, field goals, and three free throws. And she has been the difference, and especially here in the fourth quarter. She's got four fouls. Hawks need to take it to her and try and get her out of the game. But most importantly, they're down by seven. They've got to get some shots up and get some looks at the basket, try and get some points on the board here, as time is certainly of the essence. Again, Layton in the double bonus. And so every foul that the Hawks commit from here on out, Layton will be shooting two free throws. And now they've pulled off the full court pressure, and Layton going to pick the Hawks up at half court now. Back in the man-to-man -man defense, Emma Roberts goes inside for Kate Roberts, and she has it taken away by Cruz. She gets it to Waite. Waite brings it up the floor. Wait, switches hands. She has it taken away. And she'll find Jenkins, and the Hawks are going to need to foul. Hawks are going to have to get the clock stopped. Tana Badge reaches in, gets the foul. And now it'll come down to free throws as Badge picks up her second, and that'll put McKay at the line. She's two for two from the line this afternoon. And she'll have two free throws. 49.7 seconds and a seven-point lead at 32 to 25. McKay's first free throw is on the way, and it's off the mark, no good. But she's got one more coming. Hawks need some help. Under a minute to go and down by seven. They haven't made a three-pointer all day. They haven't tried all that many. That one bounces around, and we've got a tie-up, and it's Hay Springs basketball. Alternating possession gives the ball back to the Hawks. They need to conserve some time and get some looks at the basket here. Under 45 now. Emma Roberts nearly traveled with it. And another takeaway. That's Caitlin Burner. And the Hawks need a foul. Emma Roberts reaching in. They won't give her the foul. And they find Wade again. She lays that one up and in for two more. And another timeout by Hay Springs as the lead is now nine with 30.8 seconds left to go. Coach April Stangle going to try and gin up some magic here as they are down big. Nine points with 30 seconds left to go. This one kind of slipping away from the Hawks here late in the fourth quarter. They led by as many as five in the fourth, but the Leighton Warriors have come storming back, and they've used very deadly full-court defensive pressure to get the job done. A reminder that... Uh, Sponsors of today's action, Pioneer Manor of Hay Springs and the Security First Bank, also of Hay Springs. So make sure you stick around. We will have boys varsity basketball action 20 minutes after the conclusion of this game here. As the Hawks try and pull a rabbit out of the hat here with 30.8 left to go in the game, and they trail 34 to 25. So they'll set it up, and now we've got a, a wet spot on the floor that they're going to do a little bit of housework to get that cleaned up before we can get gameplay back underway. <clears throat> Jancic inbounds it to hiding. Hawks need to work quickly. They get it ahead, tipped out of bounds by Jenkins, trying to get it ahead to Tana Badge. But the Hay Springs Hawks maintain possession. Now 27 seconds left to go. And now Burner comes over and puts the pressure on. Hiding needs to find somebody in a hurry. She brings it across. There's Jancic. Tana Badge puts up the two-pointer. That one misses everything. Rebounded by Cruz, and that'll pretty well do it as Cruz gets it ahead to McKay as we're under 10 seconds to go. And we're going to get a foul now on the Hawks. And we're going to give that to Whitney Hiding. That is her second, but it's going to be too little too late here. 10.2 seconds left to go and a nine-point lead. Two free throws coming for Danny McKay. She's two for four this afternoon. First free throw finds its way into the hoop. 
And it's now a 10 point lead at 35 to 25. Second free throw falls off, no good. They get it ahead to Hiding. Hiding moves in, kicks it over to Jancic, back to Hiding. Hawks need to shoot this ball. And it's going to be taken away by Jenkins. And the game's going to come to an end. And the Hay Springs Hawks fall by 10 after they led it by five midway through the fourth quarter. But a valiant effort. They fall here today by a final score of 35 to 25. We'll step aside and be back with some unofficial scoring totals. So your final score in girls varsity action from Layton here this afternoon. It's the Layton Warriors 35 and the Hay Springs Hawks 25. So let's take a look at the unofficial final scoring totals here from the girls' varsity action for the Hay Springs Hawks. Whitney Hiding led the way for the Hawks this afternoon with seven points. Kate Roberts added six. Emma Roberts with five. Tana Badge had four, all of those in the second half. Sydney Jancic with two. And Jen Sherbarth with one. Didn't add up free throws. We can do that at a, a later date here. Uh, for the Leighton Warriors, Deidre Waite saved all of her magic until the second half. Didn't score a point in the first half as she sat most of the time with foul trouble. She came in and did most of her damage in the fourth quarter. She finishes with 13 points. And then Danny McKay with five and Caitlin Burner also with five. Abby Draper with four, Shayla Jenkins with four, Taylor Burner and Jessica Houch, Houck each added two points for the Leighton Warriors. So the Hawks fall by 10, 35 to 25. And we are 18 minutes away already from the tip-off of boys varsity action between Leighton and Hay Springs. We'll step aside and we'll be back with some starting lineups and get ready for boys varsity action here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Hawks Basketball 2015. Hi, Jordan Molesky, Marketing Manager for Mower Conditioners here at New Holland. For years, operators have been dancing around necessary blade changes, particularly when they get to the end of the field cuts. A damaged blade leaves streaks and a poor quality of cut. So today, we're going to teach you a new three-step to quick blade changes to maximize your cutting quality. A unique feature of the Quick Max blade change system is that discs are positioned at 45 degree angles to the cutter bar, rotating the discs into a common orientation, allowing me to easily change this knife and this knife without rotating the cutter bar. Unlike competitive systems available on the market, all the blades on this machine can be changed with just one cutter bar rotation. Quick Max is as easy as one, two, three. Step one, insert the tool and then pry down. Step two, remove the blade, flip it to a fresh cutting edge, reinsert the blade, and then step three, remove the tool. It's just that easy. 
Let's take a moment to talk about how QuickMax works. The QuickMax system utilizes the special spring steel retainer, an exclusive patented New Holland blade bolt design that's elliptical for excellent blade retention. The QuickMax system is available on our center pivot Disbine 313 and 316 model disc mower conditioners, as well as our Durabine 416 and 419 self-propelled speed rower disc headers. The new QuickMax system works with knives you already have. No special knives are required. The QuickMax system works with any available blades for your new Holland Disbine 313, 316, as well as Durabine disc heads for speed rowers so that your special tool is always handy. It stores conveniently on the side of the head and both self-propelled wind rowers and, and center pivot disc spine disc mower conditioners. There is a retrofit kit available for all machines equipped with the Momax 2 disc cutter bar. The kit is available for your new Holland dealer to upgrade prior production models to be outfitted with the QuickMax system. Visit your local New Holland dealer today to find out more about QuickMax for your mower conditioner. Tim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injury, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. Hi, I'm Clint Anderson and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Wherever we're broadcasting from, you can bet that I got there in a Ford vehicle from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. I've been a Sides and Milburn customer for over 20 years and I can't imagine going anywhere else to buy or trade vehicles. I may be able to find a cheaper vehicle somewhere else, but the hometown service I get at Sides and Milburn Ford is worth way more than a trip to Rapid City or Denver. I hope you enjoy today's game, and when you're ready to trade vehicles, stop in and see the good folks at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville.
Well, let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Hay Springs boys and the Leighton Warriors. Just about seven minutes and 30 seconds to the opening tip of this ball game. Let's take a look at the Leighton Warriors starters. Number 11 is Jared Westman. He is a 5'7 senior. Number 23 is Drew Brenner, a 5'10 sophomore. Number 31, Zach Kelly, a 6'1 sophomore. Number 33, James Rushman, a 5'9 senior. And number 41, Cody McKay, is a 6'2 inch senior. The Leighton Warriors come into this afternoon's action with a record of four wins and four losses. For the Hay Springs Hawks, Starters the same as yesterday, number double zero, Jordan Encinia. He is a 5'10 inch junior. Number 13, Austin Reed is a 5'10 junior. Number 25, Eli Badge is a 6'3 inch senior. Number 32, Seth Novak, a 6'5 inch senior. And number 34, Garrett Wires, a 6'3 inch sophomore. So it would appear, at least on paper, that the Hay Springs Hawks with a bit of a height advantage as we get ready to start this game as they go 6-3, 6-5, 6-3 against that front court as opposed to 6-1 and 6-2 and then take your pick uh, 5-10 or 5-9 for the Leighton Warriors. We'll see how that plays out as we get this game underway. Six minutes and ten seconds to the opening tip. Glad to have you along on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Hawk Basketball 2000. 15. Say thank you to sponsors of today's basketball action. Pioneer Manor is a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs. We provide rehabilitation services and around-the-clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish most, a nurturing spirit and a commitment to quality. That is the Pioneer Manor in Hay Springs. And the Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank, proudly supporting the Hawks, their FDIC insured, and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. Say thanks to these sponsors. They really do make it possible for us to bring great basketball action to you today. From all the way down here in Dalton, Nebraska, I had to make a quick trip on down to Sydney since we're this close before the game, and uh, glad to be here bringing it to you today. We were in Harrisburg yesterday afternoon as these boys came up on the short end of a 53-50 to score in overtime. It was a tremendous game. The Hawks came all the way back from a 14-point deficit in the first half and tied the ball game and sent it to overtime. It came up just short 
in the extra period and fell by a final score of 53 to 50. And uh, the game yesterday afternoon was so exciting that uh, I wasn't even thinking when we went off the air and didn't provide the final but unofficial scoring total. So we'll give those to you now. Yesterday afternoon, in the losing effort, Jordan Encinia finished with 16 points to lead the way for Hay Springs. Seth Novak added 13. Austin Reed had seven, along with Eli Badge, who also had seven. Garrett Wires added four points, and Drew Letcher scored three for the Hay Springs Hawks as they fell 53 to 50 in overtime yesterday to the Banner County Wildcats. Ready for another great day of basketball here this afternoon. And talking to the uh, Leighton coach here this afternoon, happened to walk into the building with him today, and uh, he uh, said he just doesn't know what he's going to get out of this Leighton Warriors squad. He says at any given point, they might have four sophomores on the floor. Sometimes everything clicks, and sometimes, he says, they play like four sophomores. So not really sure what you're going to get, and their record would probably seem to indicate that at four wins and four losses. So the Hay Springs Hawks come into this game with a record of one and five here this afternoon and trying to come out of here with a victory. One minute and 10 seconds left to go before the opening tip. Glad to have you along with us on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Hawk Basketball 2015. Just about ready for the starting lineups. And we will turn it over to the public address announcer for those introductions. So we are ready for boys varsity basketball action. Eight minutes on the clock. We are ready to go as Seth Novak steps into the circle. He'll get ready to tip it up and jump it up against number 41, Cody McKay, the six foot two inch senior for the Leighton Warriors. So the Hawks battled hard yesterday, but came up just short. See if they can come out on the top of this one here this afternoon. And the tip is controlled by Helly of the Warriors, and we are underway. Westman swings it around. Now they skip it across. Three-pointer on the way. That one's off the back iron, no good, and rebounded by Austin Reed. He'll get it to Jordan Encinia, and the Hawks will set up their first offensive possession of the game. Eli Badge on the left wing in the corner for Encinia. Encinia working against Westman. 
Man-to-man -man defense here by the Warriors. They go inside for Garrett Wires. Skips it across Eli Badge. Three-pointer on the way. In and out. No good. Tipped around. And going to be rebounded by Novak. His putback is too strong. That won't go. And rebounded by Helly for the Warriors. 7.15 to go. No score. Brenner triggers it to Westman on the wing. They go down in the corner. That is uh, Rushman. Now in the middle. Free throw jumper won't go. Tipped around and out of bounds. They're going to say Leighton Warrior basketball. And bear with us as we try to get... Names and numbers to go together here in the early going. Brenner all the way across to Westman to inbounds it. Now they'll skip it all the way back to Brenner. Brenner on the wing. Now back up top for Rushman. Rushman free throw line for McKay. McCain kicks it out for Rushman. Three-pointer on the way. That one won't go. But the rebound inside and the putback won't go. Rebounded by Wires. And Insignia up the floor. So 6.40 to go and still no score. Reed on the wing. Tried to get it to Eli Badge. Miscommunication sails it wide and out of bounds. Turnover on the Hawks. Leighton Warrior basketball with 6.34 to go in the first quarter and no score. So Westman gets it on the wing for Brenner. In the corner for Helly. Now back to Westman. Inside for McKay. He kicks it out top. Now they'll swing it around for Brenner. Brenner over to Westman. Hawks playing good defense here, but then they let McKay drive in and lay that one in for two points. And Leighton on top here, 2-0 to zero with 6.05 to go first quarter. They'll work at left side for Badge. Free throw line jumper by Badge is in and out. That one won't go. And that's McKay with the rebound. Gets it to Westman. Now they've got him hung up. Triple team, they take it away. Novak gets the steal and gets it to Reed. He'll kick it across to Insignia. Finds Wires down on the baseline. Now Wires is hung up. Wires tried to go up with it. They're going to call a held ball, and it'll be Hay Springs basketball. Wires went up to try and put up the shot. Nothing else he could do, but tied up, and the alternating possession gives the ball to Hay Springs with 5.41 to go, and they trail 2-0. to zero. They get it into Austin Reed. He goes inside, kick it back out for Badge. That shot is short, but there's Wires with the rebound. Wires tries to go up with it. Contact, no foul, and the rebound by McKay. Westman brings it up for Layton. 5.25 to go first quarter. Brenner kicks it out to Westman. Westman to Brenner on the wing. Down in the corner for Helly. Now back up to Westman. Now to Brenner in the corner for three. And that one is good. But Drew Brenner. Draws blood for the first time today. It's 5-0 to with five minutes left to go first quarter. Eli Badge swings it out for Insignia. Three-pointer on the way for him off the back iron. That's no good, but there's Austin Reed with the rebound and the putback. And Austin Reed gets the Hawks on the board. It's 5-2 to two with 4.43 to go first quarter. Westman sets it up. Hawks in the 2-1-2 zone. They skip it all the way across to Brenner. In the corner for Helly. Goes inside, but that's taken away by Novak, but taken right back. And here's Rushman. Gets it back out to Westman. Westman gets it to Rushman on the right wing. They skip it across. And that one is good. Brenner with two first quarter three-pointers. They're going to have to get a hand in his face. And Jason Badge calls a quick 30-second timeout to talk it over with his team. With 4.11 left to go in the first quarter, they find themselves quickly behind at a score of 8-2 to two behind two three-pointers by Drew Brenner. He's dialed in early from long range, the 5'10 sophomore, with six points so far here just midway through the first quarter. So Hay Springs makes the adjustment, ready to get back after it. And see what they can get done here as we work our way through the first quarter. It is an 8-2 to two ball game, Leighton with the early lead. Eli Badge will inbound it and get it into Jordan Insinia as the Hawks will set it up. Try and get some offense going here. 
4.05 to go, first quarter. Austin Reed thought about the three-pointer, passed it up, gets it to Novak. Back to Reed, just inside the three-point line. That one missed iron, off glass, and rebounded by Brenner. Now Brenner will bring it up the floor and set it up for the Warriors. Rushman on the wing. Inside, that's a new face in the game. That shot is no good. That's Kenny Ernest. But the rebound that time by Helly. And he's fouled on the putback, and he'll have two free throws. They're going to give that foul to Seth Novak, and that is his first foul of the afternoon. Helly's first free throw is good. Makes it 9-2 with 3.39 to go first quarter. Second free throw up and also good. So he makes them both. It's 10-2 as we work our way towards three minutes and 30 seconds left to go first quarter. Badge works on the left wing. Skip it across to Insinia. Zone defense here. Kind of a 3-2 look. Novak to Eli Badge. Back up top for Reed. Now they find Novak down low. Good entry pass. Off balance shot by Novak. Knocks that one down for two points. And it's 10 to four with 3.11 to go. First quarter action here from Layton. Layton High School here in Dalton, Nebraska. Combination of Dalton and Gurley. And you end up with Layton in the corner for Helly. That one's stolen away by Ancinia. Quick hands that time by Jordan Ancinia. Gets the steal. And Hay Springs back in business as they come the other way. Eli Badge, three-pointer. The lefty puts it up and can't get it to go. Brenner gets it out quickly to McKay. McKay all the way in. Left-handed layup is good for Cody McKay. And it's 12-4. 2.35 to go first quarter. Austin Reed takes that ball, goes baseline. And we're going to get a blocking foul against the Warriors. Give that foul to Cody McKay. And that is his first foul. One team foul apiece here. Badge gets it in to Insinia. Insinia, long three-pointer. That one's off the mark, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Rushman. Rushman brings it up the floor, picked up by Insinia. Brenner drives in. That shot won't go, and there's McKay with the rebound. Steps back and puts that one over the front of the rim. Cody McKay now with six points. 14 to four, it's a 10 point lead for the Warriors. Reed skips it across to Badge, they swing it around to Insinia. Trying to get it inside for Novak, that's tipped away that time by Helly. And the steal as Brenner brings it up the floor for Layton. Under two minutes to go, first quarter. Now they swing it around, Rushman inside, trying to get it to Ernest, tipped back outside. Now here's McKay, he's double teamed. Goes underneath for Helly, his shot won't go, but he's fouled by Eli Badge, and he'll head to the line and he will shoot two. So Zach Kelly, he's two for two this afternoon from the free throw line, accounting for his two points in the ball game. It's 14 to four with 143 left to go as Helly's first free throw is good. He's three for three this afternoon from the charity stripe and now Rhett Dye into the game for Layton. Helly with one more free throw that one is good. He's four for four from the line this afternoon. 16 to four is the score with 140 left to go here in the first quarter. Insinia in the corner, puts it on the floor, drives in, tries to kick it out, has it taken away by Die. Good defense that time as Insinia tried to penetrate but lost the handle and has it taken away. Here's Seth Novak with the steal. And has it stolen back by Dye. Novak with the left hand, and now Novak with two quick fouls, and that is something that the Hay Springs Hawks really cannot afford, is to have Seth get into foul trouble, and that is his second. Drew Letcher will come into the game, and Novak going to have to have a seat. Kind of a frustration foul that time as Novak had it stolen away, and dove after that ball, took the feet out from under the Leighton Warrior, as now Brenner takes a seat and into the game comes Max Seuss. He is an Austrian exchange student in the game now, number five for the Leighton Warriors. So the Warriors recruiting all the way into Europe for this basketball team here. As Seuss sees some 
early action here in the first quarter. That shot's no good, rebounded by Novak, but we're going to get Rhett Dye with the reach-in foul. Rhett Dye, a 5'6 junior. And that is his first foul. Three team fouls now for Hay Springs and two for the Leighton Warriors. Under a minute to go now in the first quarter as Encinia loses the handle but somehow gets it back. Working against this kind of a... Now we're into a man defense here. They have it taken away. And here comes McKay the other direction. Nobody stops him. all the way in. Off glass and good. That's eight first quarter points for Cody McKay as they failed to stop McKay on the drive. And he's gladly took it all the way to the hoop and put it in for two. Drew Letcher on the way for three. That one's no good. Long rebound comes down to die and quickly back the other way with 25 seconds left to go first quarter. Die finds Seuss in the corner. Seuss back up to Die. They swing it around. That's Helly. Helly looking for somewhere to go. We're under 15 to go. Going to hold it for the last shot here. Die guarded closely by Ancinia. Under 10 now. Five, four. Here comes McKay. Turnaround jumper. That won't go. Rebound underneath. And the clock expires on the first quarter. And it is a big first quarter indeed for the Leighton Warriors as they lead this one 18 to four as we head to the second quarter. Kim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injury, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. So we are ready to get this second quarter underway and it's late in 18, Hay Springs 4. As we head to the second quarter. Eight points for Cody McKay. And he leads all scorers here in the first half. Brenner. Now they'll skip it back up top to Westman. Now quickly back to Brenner in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. That one's no good, but there's McKay with the rebound. And the putback. Cody McKay has 10. Austin Reed drives baseline. We're going to get a reach-in foul called on the Warriors, and that's going to be Westman, and that'll be his first foul. Three team fouls now on the Leighton Warriors. Early going of the second quarter. Badge skips it all the way over the top to Ancinia. Zone defense here by the Leighton Warriors. Eli Badge from the baseline. That one's off the mark, no good. And here comes Brenner. Brenner going to take it all the way. He's going to be fouled by Austin Reed. Misses the shot, but he'll have two free throws. It is Austin Reed with his first foul. And it puts Drew Brenner at the line. He's got a pair of three-pointers here this afternoon. His first tries from the free throw line upcoming. First one's off the back of the iron. No good. Score is 20-4 to with 7.27 left to go in the second quarter. Brenner with one more shot. That one is no good, but there's McKay again. And there's Helly then on the rebound and the putback. Zach Helly comes in and adds two more. And so the Hawks really missing that inside presence of uh, Seth Novak, and he's going to come back into the game with two fouls as we approach the seven-minute mark of the second quarter. Letcher finds Garrett Wires. He has his shot blocked by Helly. But the Hawks get it back. Austin Reed drives baseline. He's cut off, throws it off of, off of uh, McKay, I believe that was, and out of bounds. Bails himself out of a tough situation. And so here comes Novak, and Garrett Wires heads to the bench. He'll get a rest. 6.57 to go, and it's 22-4. to four. Drew Letcher tries the three-pointer and can't get it to go, but there's Eli Badge with the rebound. Turnaround jumper on the putback won't go, and it's Brenner the other way. Brenner all the way in. Drew Letcher draws the charge. Drew Letcher got position, 
and Drew the charge. Nice job, Drew Letcher. Not a whole lot to cheer about here in the first half, but Drew Letcher gives them something to holler about for the folks in green. 6.46 left to go, 22-4, and Hay Springs basketball, as that is the first foul on Drew Brenner of the afternoon. So Hay Springs needs a spark. Maybe that's what it'll take to get them going here. They go inside to Eli Badge. Puts it on the floor, gets it out to Austin Reed. Can't handle it out of bounds. Turnover goes to the Leighton Warriors. Westman brings it up the floor. Now he works it right side. Back to his own defense now. And we've got a blocking foul. I think this is going to be Austin Reed. It is, as Austin has now picked up two quick fouls. 6.24 left in the second quarter, 22 to four, and now into the game is gonna be Dakota Hiding, the 5'10 junior. Didn't see Dakota at all yesterday, but he'll see some first half action here this afternoon. They get it into Westman. Now they find Brenner curling around, three-pointer. That one's off, no good. But there's McKay on the rebound, the putback. That won't go. And Eli Badge with the rebound. They got Badge trapped. He's going to find Hiding. Hiding will get it to Ancinia, and they'll bring it up the floor with 6.05 to go in the first half. Hiding kicks it out for, or excuse me, Ancinia out for Hiding. Novak, Hiding, faked the three-pointer, shuffled his feet, gets the traveling call. And the turnover as we're under six to go in the first half. Five team fouls for the Hawks, four team fouls for the Leighton Warriors. Westman in the corner for McKay, goes inside for Brenner, puts it on the floor, drives baseline, reverse layup blocked by Eli Badge, out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Warriors. Good block that time by Eli Badge. Got up and knocked that one out of bounds. Was trying to get a little reverse layup action to go, but couldn't get it to fall. Westman, three-pointer on the way. That one's short, no good. And the rebound by Novak. Kicks it out to Hiding and back to Insinia. And here come the Hawks trying to get some offense. They're trying to get it up the floor in a hurry. Eli Badge not ready for it. Can't handle the pass. And it's another Hay Springs turnover. So mistakes killing the Hawks here in the early going as Garrett Wire's now going to come in and give Eli Badge a rest. So the Hawks trying to slow this attack down. There's a three-pointer that won't go. Rebounded by Brenner. Tipped out of bounds. It'll be Hay Springs Hawk basketball. So 5.15 to go, and it's 22 to 4. The Hawks have kind of slowed the bleeding here a little bit as we work our way through the second quarter. They've slowed that offensive attack to a certain extent, but they've got to find a way to get some points on the board here. And Sinia gets the pick from Letcher. Now they'll get it to Letcher at the top of the key. Swings it across to Insinia on the wing, working against Eastman. Goes down low, stolen away. There's McKay, gets it back to Eastman, and he brings it up the floor in a hurry. Three-pointer on the way, that's Rushman, and it is good. Number 33 knocks down a three, and it's 25-4 to four with 4.40 to go in the second quarter. Dakota Hiding swings it around to Insinia. Now he gets it to Letcher, working against this zone defense. They go inside for Novak, spins, puts it up. That won't go. Novak with the rebound and the putback. They're going to say count the basket and one. Took the referee just a little bit to process what he had seen. They're going to give that foul to Zach Helley. That is his first. Put Seth Novak at the line. That gives him four points and a chance for the traditional three-point play. 25 to six is now the score with 421 left to go in the second quarter. McKay with the offense or the defensive rebound, excuse me, and now a new face into the game. That's Skyler Shoemaker for the Leighton Warriors. That rebound comes off high. Shoemaker almost with the rebound. Dakota Hiding pulls it down, nearly traveled, but he gets it out of there, and Insinia brings it across. 
Hiding goes down low for Novak. He's pushed by McKay. And Cody McKay draws his second foul. McKay looking, well, given his best, uh, I didn't do that kind of a look. Uh, pretty obvious uh, with the push on that foul. We got a timeout on the floor now by Hay Springs. Under four minutes to go, 3.59 left to go in the second quarter, and it is late in 25, and Hay Springs six. Say thanks to sponsors of today's basketball action. Those sponsors, Pioneer Manor and Security First Bank of Hay Springs. We will be in action with these Hay Springs Hawks again next Friday evening as they host the Gordon Rushville Mustangs in the Battle of Sheridan County. So make sure you tune in next Friday evening for more basketball action. In the meantime, Tuesday afternoon, we will have Gordon Rushville, uh, the girls, hosting the Alliance Bulldog girls. No boys action next Tuesday, the 13th. Just girls action, and that'll be from Gordon. And it'll be Gordon Rushville and Alliance. 3.59 left to go, second quarter. Hay Springs trails this one 25 to six, but they've got the ball. Inbound it to Insignia, three-pointer off the inbounds. That one's no good. Rebounded by Rushman, battle with him and Hiding. Good aggressive play by Hiding, and the alternating possession goes to the Hay Springs Hawks. So Dakota Hiding with the hustle play that time. There's a three-pointer by Letcher off the inbounds play. That one won't fall, and here comes Brenner up the floor. Brenner all the way and loses the handle. Ball on the floor. It's picked up. They go back inside. Shot up and good. They got it back to Drew Brenner and he's got eight on the afternoon. Makes it 27 to six as we approach the 330 mark of the second quarter. They go inside to Novak at the high post. Kicks it out for hiding. Long three-pointer on the way. That one misses but there's Novak for the rebound and we got a tie up and this one will go back to Layton. Warriors able to reach in and tie up Novak that time, and they'll get it back on the alternating possession. Schumacher, or Shoemaker, excuse me, will bring it up now. He is a 5'9 sophomore on the floor for the Warriors. Shoemaker up top. Now he skips it down to Rushman. He works it inside. That is Ernest, and Kenny Ernest with his first points of the game. In the paint, 29 to six with three minutes left to go here in the first half. Zone defense, tough for the Hawks to get anything going. Letcher skips it out to Encinia. Now he'll pull it back and get it back to Letcher up top with 2.45 left to go. Encinia, three pointer from the corner. Off the glass from the tough angle and gets it to fall. Not often do you see a Shot that comes off the glass from that sharp angle, but he did it and got it in there. It's 29 to nine. They work it inside and Zach Kelly puts in two more. 31 to nine, 220 left to go in the first half. Letcher steps back behind the three point line. Eyes it, tries it, can't get it to fall. And there's Helly again on the rebound. Now Rushman to bring it up the floor for the Warriors. Right side for Brenner. Three-pointer on the way, and that one won't go. Rebounded by Garrett Wires. Insinia ahead to Hiding. Work it inside quickly to Novak. He's boxed in there. Now he gets the putback attempt. The ball tapped around, and we're going to have a held ball called, and this will be Hay Springs basketball. The two players, Insinia and uh, I think it was Brenner, got their elbows locked together there as they were wrestling for that basketball. Kind of a whirling dervish going on there, and they call the tie-up. And so now we've got a timeout on the floor. 1.43 left to go in the second quarter, and it is Leighton 31 and Hay Springs 9. Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank. 
Proudly supporting the Hawks, they're FDIC insured and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. So the Hawks back to work here, trying to solve the mystery of this zone defense by the Leighton Warriors. Reed tries to go inside for Novak. He's able to tip it back outside for Reed, and he knocks it down for two. Austin Reed has four on the afternoon. It's back to a 20-point lead. It's 31-11 to 11 as we're under a minute and a half left to go before the half. Seuss gives it off and cuts inside. Die now working with it against Encinia. Brenner, top of the key, swing it around for Seuss. Puts it on the floor, drives in. Now he leaves it for Brenner on the wing. Drives in, jump stop, kicks it back out. And another new face in the game, that's Morley, uh, Morley Haley. And that shot up and good for three, that's Brenner again. Drew Brenner with a whole bunch of crooked numbers on the scoreboard so far here in the first half. And there's Novak quickly back the other way and knocking that one down. That's six for Seth as we're under a minute left to go. Working our way towards 45 seconds, it's 34 to 13 in the corner. They get it inside, and that's going to be late in basketball as Novak doing battle. Last one to touch it before it went out of bounds. And now another fresh face into the game, and that's one that we don't have on the list. Let's take a look here. That is having a hard time finding who this is. Die for three. That one won't go. That one's chased around and tracked down by Novak with 30 seconds left to go. So I don't know who 25 is. We'll see if we can't get that name for you at the half here. Encinia swings it around to Reed. Reed goes in. Now he finds Badge at the high post. That shot won't go, and that's rebounded by Ernest. Ernest gets it to Seuss, and he brings it up the floor. Ahead to die quickly. Shot in the lane. That won't go. And tipped out of bounds off of mystery player 25. We'll try to get a name for you as quickly as we can on who that is for the Leighton Warriors. And they'll throw that ball away on the inbounds. Let's step over here to the scorer's table and see who 25 is for, um, uh, for Leighton. That's Jaden Gartner. Jaden Gartner is 25. So apparently they've got... Uh, a couple of uh, numbers that they keep open and put whoever in as Austin Reed misses the shot at the buzzer. And the first half comes to an end. Hay Springs on the short end of this one by a final or a halftime score of 34 to 13. We'll step aside, get you some unofficial halftime scoring totals, and we will be back. Ten minutes on the halftime clock here, and it's Leighton 34 and Hay Springs 13. Hi, I'm Clint Anderson, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Wherever we're broadcasting from, you can bet that I got there in a Ford vehicle from Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. I've been a Sides and Milburn customer for over 20 years, and I can't imagine going anywhere else to buy or trade vehicles. I may be able to find a cheaper vehicle somewhere else, but the hometown service I get at Sides and Milburn Ford is worth way more than a trip to Rapid City or Denver. I hope you enjoyed today's game. And when you're ready to trade vehicles, stop in and see the good folks at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. Kim Marlatt and Brian Felker at Physical Therapy West and Gordon have over 30 years of combined experience in providing physical therapy and sports medicine services. Contact PT West for care following injuries, sprains, fractures, or treatment of joint, muscle, and back pain. PT West provides individualized rehabilitation following joint replacement, surgery, or stroke. Don't suffer, don't live with pain, and get back to the activities you enjoy. Call PT West at 308-282-0203 or stop by with questions at 100 South Main in Gordon. We are at halftime here from Layton as the Layton Warriors lead the Hay Springs Hawks 34-13. Let's take a look at some halftime scoring totals. 
unofficially. For the Hawks leading the way, Seth Novak with six points, Austin Reed with four, and Jordan Encinia with three. For the Leighton Warriors, Cody McKay has 10 points, Zach Kelly with eight, but Drew Brenner with three three-pointers leads the way. He's got 11, and James Rushman added three points, and Kenny Ernest with two in the first half. From the free throw line, the Hawks are just 0 for 1 from the charity stripe this afternoon in the first half, and the Leighton Warriors are 4 for 6. Zach Kelly 4 for 4 from the line. And Drew Brenner 0 for 2. Those are your unofficial halftime statistics. 7 minutes and 20 seconds left in the halftime break. And the Leighton Warriors lead this one 34 to 13 here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Hay Springs Basketball 2015. There's a new innovation in round baling, a round baler that helps you get more out of every hay season. Introducing the new Roll Belt 560 from New Holland. It gives you 20% more capacity and creates uniform five foot by six foot bales with higher density to stand up to weather, transport, and handling. Higher capacity starts with the new Active Sweep pickup. It's a full 82 inches wide from time to time. It makes a clean sweep of your fields by picking up all of your valuable crop. You get the choice of heavy duty five bar active sweep pickup or the standard duty four bar active sweep pickup. The legendary 60 inch super sweep pickup is also available. Active sweep pickups are 23% more rugged and feature stronger construction with a two inch diameter reel tube and the new double flight feeder auger. The 14-inch diameter feeder tines are arranged in a W pattern to efficiently feed crop into the bale formation area. The feeder auger is wider than the bale chamber, so the sides of the bale are firmly packed with crop. All of these pickup innovations add up to a 20% increase in pickup capacity. Next, crop moves to the bale formation area, New Holland's proven combination of rolls and belts. Roll Belt balers are known for their ability to start a core in any crop. The Roll Belt 560 continues that legacy and features increased belt driving force for reduced belt slip for quick core starts, even in below freezing or extremely dirty conditions, the kind seen when baling corn stalks. New Holland now offers three belt choices to match your preference. New Holland's mini rough top belts feature three piles of poly fabric and clipper lacings. New premium laced belts feature 20% more tensile strength for extended life. For the ultimate in durability and low maintenance, choose new premium endless belts. Endless belts are backed by a three year, 15,000 bale New Holland warranty. No matter which belts you choose, the patented New Holland roll belt system packs more crop into each and every bale. When you make higher density bales, you make fewer bales and reduce your wrapping and retrieval costs as well as storage losses. Higher density bales also hold their shape and are easier to handle, transport, and stack. You can easily adjust bale density using the sealed hydraulic density control system and monitor pressure from the tractor with this gauge. To pack even more crop into every bale, equip your Roll Belt 560 with New Holland's exclusive bale slice system. It creates bales that are up to 14% more dense Sliced bales are easier to feed to livestock, and the crop is easier for cattle to eat and digest. New Holland has simplified both the net wrapping and twine tying systems. The front load net system is easy to view during baling. Netting follows a shorter, more efficient travel path, making it the industry's most reliable system. The front load twine system features dual twine tubes that are driven smoothly by a motor for a consistent twine wrap pattern across the face of the bale. You control and monitor the bale making process using your choice of display. The Bale Command 2 is used on twine only models, and the Deluxe Bale Command 2 Plus is available for net twine or net only models. Or go ISOBUS with the IntelliView 4 or IntelliView 3 color touchscreen monitor for extra easy screen navigation. 
the world's best balers are now even better. With the benefit of New Holland engineering innovations and improvements, the new Roll Belt 560 handles your crop with more speed and efficiency than ever before. From the moment crop enters the pickup to the moment a perfectly shaped bale rapidly exits the tailgate. Your in-field productivity increases and so does your overall baling capacity. Get the most out of every hay season. Make the smart move to the Roll Belt 560 Round Baler from New Holland. See your New Holland dealer for a demonstration. So, oh, two and a half minutes left until the start of the third quarter. Let's say thanks to today's fine sponsors. Pioneer Manor is a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs. We provide rehabilitation services and around-the-clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish the most a nurturing spirit, and a commitment to quality. That is the Pioneer Manor in Hay Springs. And the Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank. Proudly supporting the Hawks, they're FDIC insured and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. Step in and tell those good folks thanks for bringing you today's basketball action. We've had grandparents from time to time send thank you notes to our sponsors even though they might be a long ways away. It means an awful lot to those sponsors to get something like that and uh, really makes it worthwhile for them to sponsor these broadcasts. They're glad to bring them to you and we are certainly glad to uh, bring them to you as well. We do our best. We don't always get it right but we certainly Strive to do the best job that we can, and we'd like to thank Jessie Badge for running the camera for us again today. She does a tremendous job with it, and glad to have her on board. we got a great partnership with the Hay Springs Hawks as uh, uh, Jessie does the filming for us, and in return we record the games, and they're able to use the film for, uh, for their training purposes, and so it works out great for both parties. We are just about ready to get the third quarter underway. Give us just a minute. We'll update the scoreboard to reflect the fact that we are just about to enter the third quarter. And ready to get things going here. Eight minutes on the clock, and Hay Springs on the short end of this one. They've got some work to do. They trail it 34 to 13. They were down by 14 yesterday, came back and tied it and sent it to overtime, but they got a tall mountain to climb here this afternoon as we are underway. Skip it across to Brenner, they work it inside for Helly. And he wastes no time putting two on the board. 36 to 13 now for the Warriors, and there's a steal by Brenner. Ahead quickly to Rushman. That one was partially blocked by Insinia, and Insinia has it coming the other way. Two on three that time, Insinia all the way in. Eastman, or Westman, with the uh, outlet pass, got it down the floor. And they're going to say it's out of bounds off of Rushman that time. Good defense by the Hawks and good hustle back and forth. Action here in the early going. And Insinia brings it up and gets the head to Austin Reed on the right wing. Reed back to Badge, top of the key. Insinia on the left wing. Towards the end of the first half, the Hawks stepped back and tried to shoot some three-pointers. Didn't get any of them to fall. And here's Brenner out quickly, racing down the court. It's a foot race. Gets that one to roll off the front of the rim, but there's Helly with the rebound. Gets it inside for McKay. He kicks it out, but tipped out of bounds by Encinia, and it'll stay with the Warriors. 6.57 to go third quarter, and they lead it 36-13. to They inbound it to Helly. Looks up the three-pointer. That one won't go. Rebounded by Wires. And here comes Encinia ahead quickly to Eli Badge. In the corner for Novak. Austin Reed in the high post, drives in, takes one too many steps, but no call, and now they do. 
One too many steps for Austin that time and the turnover. And Layton with the basketball again. Jared Westman, the 5'7 senior, brings it across the timeline. Brenner skips it across for Rushman. He finds Helly. Helly with the strong move to the basket and gets that one to fall. He's got four second half points already. It's 38 to 13 with 6.15 left to go in the third quarter. So the Hawks have struggled mightily against this zone defense of the Leighton Warriors. Badge works with it. Now a kick it back out to Insinia. Swings it around to Austin Reed. Now back to Insinia. Three-pointer on the way from the wing. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound Rushman as Westman hits the floor. Helly gets it over to McKay. That shot by altered by Wires. And now we're going to get McKay with the foul. So good work that time by... Uh, by uh, Garrett Wires that time to get in there and get Cody McKay to commit his third foul. Altered the shot, and then McKay went over his back. 5.40 to go, 38-13. to It's a 25-point lead by the Leighton Warriors, and now we've got a push called, oh, it's an offensive foul. I think that was, let's see who they call this on. Seth Novak just picked up his third. A little overzealous on the pick that time as he wasn't set, leaned into the pick and draws his third foul. So Drew Letcher will come in as Seth Novak heads to the bench with three fouls. Now into the game is Tegan Osborne. He'll take the place of McKay for Layton. 5.35 to go, 38-13. Westman brings it across. Osborne in the corner, up to Westman. He swings it around to Brenner. They try to go inside for Helly. Bumped around. And they're going to say foul on the floor. we got a push. That's going to go against Austin Reed, and that is Reed's third foul now. 5-21 to go, third quarter, 38-13. Second team foul of the half on the Hawks. In the corner for Brenner. Deadly from three-point range. He doesn't miss. That's four from long range on the afternoon for Brenner. Makes it 41 to 13. As we got a reach in by Westman, ties up Austin Reed, and the alternating possession stays with Hay Springs. So Austin will take a seat and Dakota hiding into the ball game now for the Hawks. Badge looks to find somebody, gets it to hiding, puts it on the floor. He's tripped though, and we've got a blocking foul called against the Warriors. They're going to give that foul to Tegan Osborne. And now into the game is going to be Kenny Ernst. He's going to come in and replace Zach Helley. Helley leaves the game with 12 points. So the Hawks get it in to Drew Letcher. He finds Dakota hiding on the wing. Eli Badge from the baseline knocks that one down. First points of the afternoon for Eli. And it makes it 41 to 15 as we're under five minutes left to go in the third quarter. On the wing for Brenner. Back up top for Westman. Brenner on the wing in the corner for Osborne. They go down low for Brenner. They got him trapped. Osborne gets it and back out to Westman. Now they go down inside for Brenner. His shot in the paint won't go. Long rebound comes out and controlled by Westman. Brenner, three-pointer from the right wing. That one's off the back of the rim. No good. Rushman comes out with it. Drew Letcher with the steal. Now he has it taken back by Brenner. Brenner across to Osborne, tees it up for three, and nothing but the bottom of the net that time for Tegan Osborne as he's dialed in coming off the bench. 44 to 15 now as we approach the four minute mark. Dakota Hiding goes inside for Badge. Shot won't go, but he is fouled. He'll head to the line to shoot two free throws. I'm going to call that on Kenny Ernest, and that is his first. So Eli Badge at the line, and the 6'3 senior will have a pair of free throws. First one on its way, and that is short off the front of the rim. So Dye and Seuss back into the game, and Rushman and Westman both out now for the Warriors. 
4-0-1 left to go in the third quarter. That one's in and out. He missed them both. Ernest with the rebound gets it to die. And up the floor come the Warriors. Brenner on the wing. Osborne gets it to Brenner on the give and go. Up and under. That won't go. Badge with the rebound. Tipped out of bounds. And it'll be off of Brenner. Hay Springs, uh, Hay Springs Hawks basketball. 44 to 15 is the score. Hiding gets the pass and gives it back to Jordan Insinia. Three pointer from the wing. That one might have been partially blocked. Insinia tips it into Eli Badge. That won't go. I think that shot may have been partially blocked as well. Dye comes away with it after a collision and brings it across the timeline. Brenner down on the baseline for Osborne. Back up top for Brenner. That one's tipped out of bounds by Encinia, and it'll stay with the Warriors. Seth Novak now coming back into the game, and he's going to replace Dakota Hiding. So Novak playing with three fouls, going to have to be careful here. Dye sets it up. Brenner on the wing. Osborne in the corner, back to Dye. Dye puts it on the floor. Now he'll back it out. On the baseline is Osborne, dribbles in. Fall away jumper won't go. Battle for the rebound, won by Ernest. Brenner thought about the three. Now the pull-up jumper, and it is good. Drew Brenner can shoot it from just about anywhere, and he knocks that one down. It's 46 to 15. We're under three to go. Quickly ahead to Eli Badge. He's fouled on the shot, and he'll have two free throws. They'll give that foul to Ernest. That is his second. So Eli 0 for 2 from the line this afternoon. The Southpaw puts the first one in, gives him three on the day as Brenner comes out and Shoemaker back in now for Layton. 46 to 16, that lead has swelled to 30 with 2.51 left to go in the third quarter. Second free throw, no good. And Seuss, the Austrian Exchange student brings it up the floor, gets it to Die. Die drives baseline outside for Osborne. Three-pointer from the corner. That one's off, no good. Tipped around, rebounded by Ernest, and we're going to have a traveling call as he was hip-checked by Garrett Wires. Garrett may have got away with one there. Uh, they call him for traveling, and it'll go back over to the Hay Springs Hawks with 2.35 to go in the third quarter. They trail this one 46-16. to Ancinia in the corner for Letcher. Three-pointer, that one. Not much arch on that shot, and that's the fourth foul on Seth Novak. And Seth knew it as soon as he did it. So four for Novak with 2.27 left to go in the third quarter. Things just not going the way of the Hay Springs Hawks here this afternoon. Shoemaker brings it across and gets it to Die. Die drives in, kicks it out for Osborne. Osborne has it taken away by Insinia. Insinia. Two on one here, and Sinia all the way in, lays it up, and good. Jordan's got five on the afternoon, makes it 46 to 18. Two minutes now left in the third quarter. Die drives in, finds Ernest, his jumper up and no good, and Insinia with the rebound. Jordan Insinia has it taken away by Osborne, gets it to Shoemaker, and the Leighton Warriors will regroup. Skip it across to Die. That's off his fingertips and out of bounds. They turn it over. And so now Jaden Gartner, who was the mystery player, we're in 25, back into the game. We've identified him correctly as Osborne takes a seat for the Leighton Warriors. Drew Letcher comes up to take that inbounds pass, nearly stolen away by Die as it was kind of a lazy pass. Nice move by Drew Letcher. Puts that on the floor, takes it all the way in. Nice move in midair and puts it in the hole for two points. Makes it 46 to 20. Die working on the wing. They get it to Gartner in the corner. He slings it back up for Shoemaker. Inside for Ernest. He drives in, dribbles it off his knee, and out of bounds. Should be Hay Springs basketball. Thought it was off of his knee, but they're going to say it was off of a off of a Hay Springs Hawks Hawk, and it'll stay with the Warriors. Over the top, stolen by Insinia. It's a foot race. He's going to win that one every time. Jordan Insinia lays that one in for two more, and it's 46 to 22. 110 left to go, third quarter. So all substitutes in for the Leighton Warriors now. 
as they lead it 46 to 22. That shot won't go. Rebound tipped around and pulled down by Seuss. He'll drive in, loses the handle, ball loose on the floor. We got a tie up and the alternating possession to the Leighton Warriors with 51.1 seconds left to go third quarter. Shoemaker to inbound it, gets it into die. Ernest in the corner for Shoemaker, makes a good ball fake, puts up the shot just inside the three-point line. That won't go, but Ernest is there for the rebound. Turn around off glass, and good for Kenny Ernest. He's got four on the afternoon, 48 to 22 as we're under 35 to go now. Behind the back dribble by Badge, kicks it out for Drew Letcher, and he traveled with it. These officials don't always make the call in a hurry, but they usually do seem to get it right as he took one too many steps. And the traveling called. We're under 30 to go, 48 to 22. A skip pass all the way across to Shoemaker. Shoemaker drives into the lane. Over the top, tried to get it to Gartner. That's tipped out of there, saved by Letcher off the ceiling, and it'll be, they're going to alternating possession, and they're going to give it to the Hawks. Now uh, officials going to have a conference, make sure they've got the rule correct. Letcher was the one who threw that back in, but apparently I'm not familiar with the rule, but they gave it a jump ball, alternating possession, and so it goes to Hay Springs. And that one, we're going to get Dye called for the reach-in foul with 12 seconds left to go. So it's an interference call, they say, and that was resulted in the jump ball and the alternating possession. And that one thrown straight to Gartner by Drew Letcher. Gartner between his legs. Now Dye comes out of there with it, under five to go. They go inside. That's Ernest from the free throw line. His shot no good. Rebound by Badge at the buzzer. And the third quarter ends. It is 22 to 48. Hay Springs trails this one by 26 as we head to the fourth quarter. Security First Bank of Hay Springs is your hometown bank. Proudly supporting the Hawks, they're FDIC insured and an equal opportunity lender. Security First Bank, a relationship you can count on. And the Pioneer Manor is a premier skilled nursing and assisted living facility located in Hay Springs. We provide rehabilitation services and around-the-clock skilled care in a comfortable and friendly environment. At Pioneer Manor, our guiding principle is to provide outstanding and innovative health care in an environment that remembers the importance of the individual and the family. Our staff of dedicated professionals embodies the values that we cherish most, a nurturing spirit and a commitment to quality. We head to the fourth quarter. Things not going the Hawks' way here this afternoon as they trail this one 48-22 as we get things underway. Starters back in now to start the fourth quarter for the Warriors. And that one's tipped out of bounds on a good defensive play by Garrett Wires that time. Brenner gets it in to McKay, and his shot won't go, and the rebound by Garrett Wires. Quickly ahead to Seth Novak, somehow didn't travel with that. McKay comes away with it on the off-balance shot by Novak. Rushman pulls it back, gets it to Helly, trailing the play. He finds McKay underneath for two more, and Cody McKay has 12, 50 to 22 with 7.20 to go. In the corner for Austin Reed, works it inside for Garrett Wires. His shot blocked by Helly, out of bounds off of Helly, and it'll be Hawks basketball. Badge to inbound it with 7.17 left to go in the fourth quarter. 50 to 22 ball game. And Sinia tees it up for three. That one's short off the front of the rim. Rebound's gonna be out of bounds off of the Hay Springs Hawks. Leighton basketball. Westman brings it across. Brenner on the wing. Drives in, leaves it for McKay. Drives to the basket, and two more 
in for McKay. It's a back to a 30 point lead at 52 to 22. They work it inside for Novak. Can't do anything with it. With it, he kicks it back out. Now they'll go back inside. That's a bad pass, tipped away and controlled by Layton. Brenner up the floor with 6.35 to go now. Rushman on the wing. Rushman going to drive to the free throw line and kick it out for McKay. McKay drives and leaves it for Brenner. He drives all the way in. Two big steps. Lays it off the glass and good. 17 on the day for Brenner. Badge pull up jumper from the free throw line. That's no good. Rebounded by McKay. Badge reaches in to slap it away and he's going to be called for the reach in foul. Frustration really starting to set in for these young Hay Springs Hawks as that is Badge's second foul. Fourth team foul of the second half for the Hawks. Five team fouls for the Warriors as we approach the six minute mark of the fourth quarter. Rushman on the wing, guarded by Reed. Finds Helly on the baseline, slapped away by Garrett Wires. Good defensive play that time by Garrett Wires. Badge has it on the wing. Works off the screen from Novak, drives to the baseline, pull up jumper won't go, but there's Novak battling for the rebound. That's gonna be out of bounds off of McKay and it'll stay with the Hay Springs Hawks with 5.35 to go. 54 to 22 is the score. And now Wes Telestis comes in. He's going to give Eli Badge a break. And so Wes, the 5'6 freshman, seeing his first game action of the day. That one tipped out of bounds by McKay. And that is not a fair matchup as Wes goes every bit of 5'6 and McKay Checks in at 6-2, uh, hard for West to get that one over top of him. There's a rebound and the putback by Garrett Wires. Garrett scores for the first time today, and it narrows it back to 54-24 with 5.20 to go. We got a timeout on the floor called by the Hawks. Full one-minute timeout with five minutes and 18 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. It is Leighton 54 and Hay Springs 24. It's an icon, the most popular sports car in America. It is the Ford Mustang, and it's available at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. This 310 horsepower turbocharged beauty comes with all the bells and whistles, and it's sure to turn heads wherever you go. The selectable driving modes allow you to choose between sport, track, snow and wet, or normal conditions. With an awesome sound system, this Mustang is ready to roll down the highway at 32 miles per gallon. Test drive the iconic Ford Mustang at Sides and Milburn Ford in Rushville. So back to fourth quarter action. Five minutes and 18 seconds left to go in the game. And it's a 30-point Leighton Warrior lead at 54 to 24. Shoemaker now has the reserves back into the game for the Leighton Warriors. Osborne tries to get it to die, and that's taken away by the Hawks. Austin Reed up the floor. West Telustis now will get it to Insinia. Back to Telustis. And then back to Insinia as he pulls it back and sets it up, working against die. Free throw line for Austin Reed, and he traveled. Lost his balance, hits the floor and travels with it. And number 13, Morley Haley, now into the game for the Leighton Warriors as we're under five to go in the fourth quarter. Shoemaker on the wing to Osborne. Back up to Dye, swings it across to Haley and around to Shoemaker. Shoemaker has it tipped away by Ancinia, out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Warriors, 4.36 to go, fourth quarter. Haley back to Shoemaker, now back to Haley, into Ernest. Has it slapped away by Insinia, but picked up by Shoemaker. Trapped in the corner, but Osborne gets it. Very careless ball handling here by the Leighton Warrior Reserves. That one's tipped out of bounds, 
And they'll get it back again. Get it into Osborne. Shoemaker in the corner. Now he goes to Osborne inside for Ernest. And the foul, the foul and the shot won't fall. Two shots. Referee wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and say the basket counted, but it didn't fall. So they're going to give that foul to Austin Reed, and that is his fourth. And it puts Kenny Ernest at the line. 6'3 sophomore will have two shots here. First free throw, no good. And one more coming. So Ernest lines it up and lets it fly. That one also no good. And the rebound pulled down by Seth Novak. Ahead to Austin Reed, finally gets the handle on it. And Cinea pull up jumper in the lane. That one just won't quite fall, but there's Seth Novak with the rebound and the putback. Can't get it to fall. Out of bounds off of Layton, and it'll stay with the Hawks. 54 24, 359 left to go in this one. Three pointer on the way from Encinia. That one won't fall. And the Hawks just can't get anything to go their way here today. They've got Schumacher, or Shoemaker, excuse me, hung up. But he gets it out of there. They get it ahead. And there's Morley. Morley Haley, excuse me. Haley, that's tipped out of bounds. And it'll be Hawk basketball with 3.44 to go. Encinia works against Dye. Reed at the top of the key, puts it on the floor, drives into the lane. Fall away jumper. That one's in and out, no good. And the rebound by Shoemaker. Shoemaker puts it on the floor, being guarded closely by Encinia. Trying to force Shoemaker to make a mistake, but he doesn't. Haley with the long two-pointer. That one won't go. Rebounded by Ernest. Kicks it out for Shoemaker. Get it back to Haley. Osborne in the corner. His shot won't go. And... Telustus tracks down the rebound, but that's stolen away by Haley. They get it to Osborne. His shot up, blocked by Garrett Wires, and the rebound by Novak. 2.55 to go, 54-24. Die with the steal now. Die crosses over, pull away or fall back jumper. That one won't go. Back the other way comes Encinia. His layup won't go, rebounded by Ernest. And we've got a timeout on the floor called by the Leighton Warriors with 2.34 left to go in this one. It's 54 to 24. Say thanks to today's sponsors, Pioneer Manor and Security First Bank of Hay Springs. And if you would like to sponsor one of these broadcasts, we'll find a package that fits your needs. Whether you're an individual or a business, we'd love to have you on board as we've got a lot of basketball action left in this basketball season. And one of the more exciting things is that we have finally convinced the NSAA to allow us to webcast district and state basketball games. But most importantly, we'll be able to follow uh, the Hay Springs Hawks through district play this season. And we're very much looking forward to that as we hadn't been able to do that before. They've allowed us to record those games and air them on a 12-hour tape delay, which we've Decline to do, but we'll be able to bring those to you in real time at the end of this season and glad to do that. Shoemaker tees it up for three. That one's off the mark, no good. Rebounded by Letcher. Out of bounds, or no, they kept it in bounds. Tracked down, and West Lustis brings it up the floor. Austin Reed tries to go inside to Novak, but it's stolen away by Shoemaker. Shoemaker working against Novak. And now it's Seuss, high post for... Gartner, and he puts it in for his first points of the afternoon. 56-24, we're under two minutes to go in this game. Badge top of the key to Telustis on the wing. Letcher, top of the key. Around to Austin Reed. Reed, inside for Novak. That was a nifty entry pass to Seth Novak that time. And he knocks it down for two. Seuss on the wing. They work it inside for Osborne. Traveled with it, no call. And taken away there by Austin Reed. Austin up the floor in a hurry. He's going to, but he lost the handle on it. Got that ball stuck on his hip. 
as he tried to get it in for the layup. He dribbled through traffic and almost made it, but got that ball stuck against his hip and couldn't get it off and ends up with the traveling call at 121 to go, 56 to 26. As now Dakota hiding into the game along with Tony Tooth. Tony seeing his first action of the day here. And that one's tipped out on the long rebound to Seuss. He tees it up for three. In and out, no good. And there is contact and another traveling call. So no foul called. They'll make it a travel against Haley. And the Hawks get the ball back with 1.02 left to go in the fourth quarter. They trail 56 to 26. Tooth in the corner. Tries to go inside for Badge. That's taken away by Shoemaker. Forty-seven seconds now as Thlustus goes for the steal. Haley in the corner for Osborne. Osborne back up top for Shoemaker, drives to the free throw line. That one's tipped away by Drew Letcher. He's got it. Drew Letcher all the way in, lays it up, and count the basket. Count the basket and one. Drew Letcher playing hard to the very end here as he draws the foul, and he'll have a free throw attempt and a chance at the traditional three-point play. 56 to 26, not sure that they added that score to the scoreboard yet. Now they do, and that is the first foul on Skyler Shoemaker. Drew Letcher with the free throw coming here. It's 56-28, 33 and a half seconds left. That free throw is no good, rebounded by Haley. Gets it to Seuss. The Austrian brings it up the floor. Goes left side for Haley. On the baseline for Osborne. Kicks it across. Three-pointer from Shoemaker. Rattles that one home. Skyler Shoemaker gets on the board in a big way from long range. And now Wes Celestis being hounded by Seuss, but he gets it across. Under 10 to go. They try to work it inside to Caleb Marks. Can't handle it. And it's uh, Gartner. And Shoemaker holds it to the end, and the final score will be 59-28 to as the Leighton Warriors defeat the Hay Springs Hawks here this afternoon. We'll step aside one last time. We'll be back to you with some final and unofficial scoring totals. But from Leighton this afternoon, the Leighton Warriors take down the Hay Springs Hawks by a final score of 59-28. to Well, let's take a look at some scoring totals here for the Hay Springs Hawks. Leading the way was Seth Novak. He finished with eight points. Jordan Ensinia had seven. Drew Letcher added four along with Austin Reed with four points. Eli Badge had three. And Garrett Wires finished with two. The Hay Springs Hawks finished one for six from the free throw line this afternoon. For the Leighton Warriors, the... Uh, had three players in double figures. Drew Brenner led the way with 18. Cody McKay had 14, and Zach Kelly added 12. Kenny Ernest had four. James Rushman with three. Tegan Osborne with three. Skyler Shoemaker with three. And Jaden Gartner with two. And on the afternoon, four for eight from the free throw line for the Leighton Warriors. 
So again, the final score, boys varsity action. It's Layton 59 and Hay Springs 28. In earlier action this afternoon, it was the Layton Warrior, uh, Layton Lady Warriors beating the Hawks of Hay Springs 35 to 25. Make sure you tune in next Friday evening as the Hay Springs Hawks will be hosting the Gordon Rushville Mustangs in the Battle of Sheridan County. We'll be glad to be there and bring that to you. In the meantime, Tuesday evening we'll have coverage of Gordon Rushville girls and the Alliance Bulldogs from Gordon. Not sure exactly what the start time is there, but tune in. A schedule there should be to the right of your viewer, and you can see everything that we have scheduled. So glad to have you along with us here this afternoon for some Excellent Saturday afternoon basketball. A Leighton Warriors victorious in both games here this afternoon. We look forward to seeing you next Friday evening for Hay Springs and Gordon Rushville. Until then, this is Clint Anderson saying thank you and good night. <laughs>